Chichi! The Mouthful Podcast is brought to you by GoodGame.Rock, the most welcoming gaming community on Facebook. Visit us at www.goodgame.rocks. Welcome back, guys. This is Arnaldo, a.k.a. Mad Dog. And that, of course, is David, a.k.a. Dream Twister. And this is the real episode 320. GG's the Mouthful Podcast. GG! Yes, that is a GG I'm, li- I'm used to hearing where it just rings in my ear and makes my noodle <laughs> shake a little bit. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> I don't want to make your noodles shake at all. Not that That's noodle, not the you point. Crazy nut. The, 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 the brain is is a a, a a noodle, or people have have used that as a noodle. Oh, oh yeah, your brain, your your head, yeah, yeah, your noodle. Yes, okay. <laughs> I was a little worried that I was talking. I was speaking too sexy. I mean, <laughs> you know, you do have a melodious voice, uh, especially when you yell "GG" at the highest pitch possible. At the highest pitch, exactly. And then, I, and then puberty hits, and I go "GG." <laughs> <laughs> and then oh, it sounds the best. good old times no <laughs> not really <laughs> not, good. not from what i remember that's for sure good. No, no. <laughs> a little awkward just a little awkward did you have the did you remember the breaking voice do you do you remember having that i i see you you don't notice it yourself that's the thing uh un, unless like the kids from nowadays, they're going to obviously tell the difference because now, you know, they have been like recording, you know, their their parents record them on the phones. And then, you know, a few years from now, they can see it and all. Oh. But remember, we're from the era where that shit was expensive. So we don't have record. <laughs> we don't have recordings uh, or that many that I could tell. Oh, that's how I sounded when I was a kid. But it happened. It happened. The other day uh, I saw, you know. Uh, I visited family and I went to see my nephew and I hear this guy is talking to me like this. And I'm like, oh, shit. I'm like what the f- you're, were you 10? He's not 10. He's like, well, or something like that. <laughs> or, you know, probably anyway, he's eating that, that, you know, that age. And he's tall as fuck. Also. I'm like, dude, what the hell? Like you were a baby the other day. You know, <laughs> like, you're almost as tall as me and 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 and, and having this voice and you know, this commanding mm. voice i'm like holy shit so so yeah it it obviously uh <laughs> we went through it but like i didn't notice i, I by the time I notice, yeah yeah but, i don't by, notice it, but i mean all being told like, oh, dude, damn, man, what's wrong with your voice? <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong with your voice? <laughs> well, my probably was, mine was probably like this, where I sounded like freaking, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it was bad. It was a, it was a bad memory. <laughs> I don't sure. know. School, sure. uh, school was not, was not a, a very fun memory. I did not have a, a good time, uh, you know, in, in school, to be honest with you. Um, I have very few friends because most of my friends were, uh, the, the outcasts, the nerds, uh, or mostly girls also, <laughs> no, that's uh, which is, well, it was problematic when I had a thing for them and they will always see me as the, ah, Oh, you got friend zone. <laughs> oh, so much. It's unbelievably ridiculous. Ridiculous how, how friend zone, uh, you know, I, I, I was, it was. There's, there's got to, there, there must be some sort of re- record keeping <laughs> Guinness type shit for the levels of uh, friend zones that I've been in. My freaking wife right now was a friend zone <laughs> originally. I mean, she, <laughs> one that I escaped uh... from somehow, maybe because of my expertise. I know at this point you're like <laughs> you had a master plan, right? Said so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wear her down. She would not see it coming. As a matter no. of fact. She will say this was meant to be. 
<laughs> no, I think it was just the law of numbers. <laughs> at some point, you're yeah, gonna law of averages. <laughs> yes, the law of averages. At some point, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna uh, roll double sixes, and that's when you know you're lucky, and that's how that's how it went. But yeah, I crashed and burned so many times. It was ridiculous. I was an awkward kid, so what can I, you know? And, oh, and so I say, yeah. now I'm a awkward man. But uh, <laughs> that's another tale for another, another story. Day. No, for I another day. That was, but, uh, that was nothing. That's nothing to 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 be ashamed of. I oh was, no, man! Uh, it, yeah. it, 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 I mean, look, it, it makes it makes me who you know. It makes me who I am, and uh, really, it was right? every little thing led to this moment here. You exactly, know, you know, yeah, yeah. Exa exactly, exactly, exactly. I, I got, I got, I got no, I got no regrets. You know, the 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 only thing is, I I do remember, you know, it was like, dude, I didn't, I didn't have a girlfriend in in school until until my first year of college. <laughs> I, I will say, I would have girlfriends, but never in school. It was like it was like I could not break the school relationship thing, you know. <laughs> it was basically, always something. You never heard shit where you eat is what is what I'm hearing. <laughs> yeah, <basically. laughs> Except I tried, <laughs> but it was like, it wasn't from like, lack of trying. <laughs> no, it wasn't from. <laughs> uh, Maybe that's why so many years later. I, jobs i ended up getting in so much trouble <laughs> that was one of those my rebellious years <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i can't get away with doing shit like that anymore now that shit will get me really fucking fired oh for sure dude. <laughs> like I, I can. honestly i'm just like i feel bad for like the youth coming out it's like man good luck it was yeah. hard before <laughs> Now it's even harder. No. Uh, yeah. It was fun before. Now it's no longer fun. Oh, my God. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> well, anyway, guys, this is not uh, the dating podcast or <laughs> the reminiscing of the 80s, although I feel totally we should, should do a Yeah, no, we should do a hot topic on that at one point, right? I mean, I feel like that's that fucking sells itself. I I have so many good memories of the 80s, of course. Me I mean, I think I, I shared one the other day. Yeah. Transformers! <laughs> Oh right, right. Oh, I was more than meets the eye. <laughs> the Transformers movie, yeah, yeah, of it. But the, I get it. I get it. It was uh, definitely a big '80s uh, uh, thing. So that was the hey. best Transformer movie. Yeah, that, that, that they have been. That it's ever been done. <laughs> Let's yeah. be real. They basically peaked right at the beginning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Since the first then, movie with a curse. Yeah. <laughs> the first children's movie with a curse in it. It was yeah. like what? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, what was the curse though? I don't remember. It was oh shit. It was a shit. Okay, okay. Yeah. Was two, oh, okay. two seconds of oh shit. That's, That's awesome. That is awesome. Know. All right, guys. Anyway, thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, if this is your first time listening, please go to Good Game Dot Rocks. And yes, that wasn't a request. And join the conversation there. <laughs> and of course, please like, subscribe, and share the podcast with everyone. What we normally do is first we go into what we have been up to move on into various news items. And then, of course, we finish with our Hot Topic of the Week. This week's Hot Topic, hot topic. a look at first-party lineups. Uh, <laughs> yes. If you We're don't know... milk the E3 that we didn't have for what it's worth. I mean, at this point, and I'm st I feel like we're still waiting. We're still waiting for a shoe to drop because Sony really... I mean, it had probably one of the better ones, but it was all third-party. And I was like, well, what the fuck are you doing, Sony? You got to be doing something. But uh, anyway, we're going to go in later on. Uh, really, what we're going to do is go through each of the first parties. Uh, obviously, we'll quickly go through the ones we already know what they're doing. But on some of the other ones that have either been quiet or uh, mentioned something before, kind of go with, OK, what is that and when can we see that? Uh, and then kind of go from there. But it'll be fun. I have a uh, I'll share the articles here with you so we can kind of follow on together. But um we'll leave that of course for later on in the show so let's go ahead and begin with what we have been up to mr dream twister am i so excited what you have been doing i don't know man i kind of wanted to i i was kind of left out waiting for you to talk about what was mad dog's 
high school or school years, you know. Oh, really? But I guess we're not getting any of that. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it was such an awful memory that you just really didn't want to talk about it. I mean, there was a lot of things that happened in, in, in high school. Uh, <laughs> and they range from, I mean, I, I took my sister out of her school one time just because she knew she knew I used to cut all the, to cut school all the time. Uh, and or play hooky, I guess, depending on where you where you live, <laughs> what were it, what uh, verbiage you would use, but um, but yeah, mm-hmm. uh, and and she came with me, and it's funny because I saw her, it's like you know, yeah, no, we don't, we don't really do a lot, you know, we just kind of hang out, you know, we get some, we're, course, you don't say the concept, we're not a school, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah that's pretty much it. it should explain but itself. I told her, I was like, we'll, we'll do this, but that's yeah. it. I mean, I'm not t- it was just just so you can see what it is and and, and you have an idea or whatever and she's like, oh, okay okay the one day I, I, I that she she cut school with me dude we had like such the blast bro we went we went out to this uh, somebody's house we had like a little house party uh we had yeah. so many things going on and it was just like I realized towards the end I was like oh my god I'm gonna ruin her <laughs> I was just like, no and I was like I promise you this is not Freaking every day. Thug. Yeah, this is not every day. <laughs> That this happens, guys. Uh, this, this, you know, we just happen to have a good day where everyone's out. Someone's parents weren't home, so we were to go to their house. You know what I mean? And and, and it's just yeah, yeah. It was a lot of, yeah, it was a lot of that. Um, I did smoke a lot of marijuana back then, uh, and yeah. I also yeah. drank uh, a lot of old E. If anybody remembers what that is, that's old English. Yeah. Some really. <laughs> nasty ass beer guys i didn't know because i was a kid and i was like oh shit you know what i mean we're, uh-huh. pa- we're passing around a hat just collecting like you know 50 cents here and there just so we can all get get one <laughs> and share it with all of us you know oh god <laughs> after covid you just go oof that's not a good thing <laughs> <That's> not- <laughs> you know Anyway, yeah, I can go on with the, the insanity. No, I mean, that were. This, this makes me think that we should actually have that topic at some point because it sounds good and, and happy that people uh, share their experiences also. Oh, absolutely. Um, that would be good. We should definitely do that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah Stay yeah. tuned, guys. We'll definitely add that to the docket. Uh, <laughs> and uh, if you're interested at all, by all means, leave your uh, thoughts and comments on the post and uh, we'll happily share. Leave your thoughts and prayers. <laughs> oh, that too. So, what have I been playing? Uh, most mostly, because I've dabbled on a few games here and there. But I mean, I've there are games that I've already talked about, and then I won't mention anymore. But because the main one that I wanted to focus uh, is uh, Horizon Forbidden West. Mm-hmm. You see, I fucking said it. I made it. it. I did it. You nailed it. I- I nailed it. Yeah, era tiempo. Con <laughs> no more journey to the west. <laughs> and now you just jinx yourself because you're gonna say no, it. it's gonna happen. It's you know it's gonna happen. So so I said journey to the west, bro. Yeah, no, I took it because I, I, I think I started <laughs> journey to the west, didn't I? Completely fuck <laughs> me. Wow, bro. I didn't even take <laughs> I I'm gonna write it down. A few seconds. I'm gonna write it down. Wow, dude! That was or hilarious. it's forbidden that I say the word, <laughs> that the title, the proper title, "Forbidden West." There we go. Wow. That is. So anyway, crazy. Horizon <laughs> Adam West. Uh, I started playing that. <laughs> I started playing that because I was. I told you I was bored. I I, I wasn't. Uh, last last week I mentioned that I didn't know what game to get into, and I thought, well, this is this is the time. There's going to be a time, you know, this is it. Um, there was there was a particular thing that was holding me back from playing the game. And, 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 and it is that I remember the game being too long, in, in my opinion. You know, it, it felt like I was having, I was having fun with it. And, and, it is a, and it is a great game. And don't get me wrong. I, I was still obviously uh, recommend Zero Dawn for those who haven't played it uh, yet. And believe me, you need to play Zero Dawn before you jump into Forbidden West. Oh, required playing. Okay. Yes, it, it is absolutely required playing. The game tell the, the game almost short of give you a fuck you if you don't know the story because it's not gonna do anything <laughs> to to give you a, a a recollection. Like you might as well play it. 
like you, Mad Dog, you might as well replay it again just to sort of like get yourself a, remember oh, what wow, happened. No, so you're no. not gonna remember what Either happened. That or get a recap on YouTube, which on I YouTube, actually yeah, have yeah, saved. Okay. It's a 20 minute, full 20 minute recap of the events of the first one, which I have saved in my uh, watch list. Did they do? Did they do that? Did, the, was that on a, like an official one from Sony or from oh, Gorilla so. or I mean, was I it? I can look at to see. What was I it someone? It, was, it probably was someone. But yeah. no matter what your source is. It definitely pays. It definitely pays to go back to it because the game's not gonna hold your hand on as 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 far as uh, as far as bringing you up to speed on the events. You know, you start the events, you're already the the savior of Meridian because that's what you did on the first game. Um, and and uh, on the first game, if you remember at the beginning, everybody treated you like shit. Uh, on this ver on this game, you start everybody's treating you like a god, basically. Wow. So, so it yeah, was a, yeah. an IGN one, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. The story so far, 19 minutes and 31 seconds. There we go. That's the, you know what? I might go into it. Share it uh, sure. when you get a chance. I might I, I might go back into it because, uh, of course, as the things are happening in in the, you know in the game, I'm kind of remembering a little bit. Oh, okay. But if okay. you recall, there was a lot of things that had to do with, you know, the ancients and what happened in the old world, and 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 a lot of that was shared in game via audio, uh, audio logs. Mm -hmm. You know, audio logs that you will listen to it one and then kind of forget, you know, about it. It, it wasn't it wasn't super interactive or anything like that. It was just, I mean, it was a game of. It's time, and that was not too long ago. So that was the time. Uh, so, so you might forget. You might have forgotten a, a, a lot of details. A lot of names, also. You know, a lot of names that that this characters. one pretends that you know. A lot mm -hmm. of characters. Uh, well, I say names because, in the sense that there are from from like what happened in the old in the olden days, mm. um, and and that could get confusing and so it if you're if you're considering uh playing horizon uh, a horizon game i will invite you to start from the beginning because zero dawn is an excellent game it is it is a great way to establish the origin and this one it's more of that so if you like the first one You have no problem. You're gonna like this this one because it gives you it, it gives you almost like expansions levels of the same. Uh, but it, it adds some it adds some things here and and you know here and there, okay. some good things and some bad things <laughs> uh, in the sense of bugs, which I'll, I'll get uh, I'll get in a moment. Oh, you're well, having bugs? Wow. I, I am having bugs. This is, I mean, this is after the game have been patched and repatched, and I don't know how much more support is, is going to continue getting, but um, I mean, well, it's granted. I mean, they, they, they pretty much kept up support on most of their first parties. Right, right. And, and I'm, not talk, I'm not talking about freaking Cyberpunk's level of shit, because that, you would have seen that on the, <laughs> on the mainstream news at this point. I'm not talking about that. When I say bugs... It's it's minor thing. It's nothing game breaking. It's honestly the only reason why it gets so noticed is because you remember. First of all, you remember the 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 quality state that most Sony games tend to uh, tend to release on, mm -hmm. uh, and and second, uh, the fact when though you play Horizon when you played Horizon Zero Dawn, the first one. Uh, there wasn't. It, uh, I, I want to say that I want to say I recall some like performance related issues here and there, but it wasn't anything. You know, it wasn't anything uh, as glaring as some of the things that are that I'm seeing here, um, which is. Uh, it, it's it's like graphics that don't load on time, so you suddenly see a disembodied 
head and arms, but not no torso. <laughs> you oh know? wow! Okay. Uh, things like you know things of that of that nature. But let me let me start with the let, let me start with the with the positive because I don't want I don't want to shit on this game. This game's not it's not a bad game. So the positive, like I mentioned, is that the game uh it plays exactly like Horizon Zero Dawn, but at 60 frames if you play if you play on performance on performance mode um and at 30 if you play on high resolution uh, mode honestly just go for performance for better game play obviously uh the the decima engine it like like it's funny because there's some things that and maybe this is just the fact that you're running it on performance mode and you're looking at it. If you look a little close, you see like, oh, this is this is the checkerboarding is kind of obvious on this uh, section over here. Uh, mm-hmm. This uh, this graphics are not a, as sharp as a 4K image as you will expect a 4K image to, you know, uh, to be. Uh, also, I... I was until recently I was playing Horizon Zero Dawn on PC, so I might be biased on that, on that uh, visual aspect of it. Uh, but but then you have some other areas where the game looks like, and I realize this has been said about a lot of games lately that have been released, but it's probably one of the most beautiful games ever. You know, it's like the the things that the that the engine does. Um, with lighting is is is, is spectacular. Uh, mm-hmm. It is expected because it's a good, it, it's a it's a really good engine. Um, but it never it doesn't um it doesn't stop amaze you know being amazed. Like you wouldn't be able to play this game because I'm afraid that in your case you're just gonna be stuck playing the the photograph <laughs> photograph mode. <laughs> I haven't even went and checked to see if that's even available. Although I have no reason to doubt it. And besides, the PlayStation 5 can take photos, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no, yeah but no, I'm, but, you know, usually when they have their own specific photographic mode, they, they let you, like, pose Eloy or or select uh, filters of, you know, crap like that that you spend hours and hours and hours <laughs> working on. <laughs> Uh, uh, to pose, and I know you, you, you get a lot of enjoyment of doing that. I do uh, <laughs> an <laughs> immense amount. Of, probably, definitely too much. Definitely, definitely too much. much. Definitely. Yes, yes. Uh, the open world is immense. Um, I mean, it, it. If you guys remember, the world of Zero Dawn was big, and it was chock full of icons everywhere that it rivaled only a ubisoft open world <laughs> let me tell you <sighs> it not an very much game. feels like it oh my god yes i'm sorry i mean I'm that's sorry. what that's the way the first one was that's i mean let's, let's fir- call exactly. it what it is they're not doing anything different what has been done different is open worlds have done different. <laughs> you know they have, <laughs> they've evolved but whatever <laughs> No, oh, this one is very. This one knows what it is, and knows what it's done, and uh, want to stick to the. Fo- Dude, it's the same game, <laughs> you know, and it's and and that and that's a good thing if you were a fan of it. But it might be a disappointing a disappointment for those who were expecting a little bit more. But I tell you what, there could be a little bit more because I haven't been able to explore fully. Uh, this area is just just yet uh but underwater i don't remember you having a lot of tracks underwater on the first one on the second one it, that looks like it has some depth uh pardon the pun but um it, it and it looks and it looks gorgeous oh, the only reason why i i say i haven't spent a lot of time on it is because you know it, like i know eventually and this is from the trailers you eventually get the MacGuffin that will allow you to breathe underwater for, you know, forever. You don't have to worry about drowning. But, you know, right now, 
you know, Elo starts with the lung capacity of a uh, 80 year old uh, smoke, you know, heavy smoker, <laughs> and it's it's gonna show. I mean, she's just, just gonna drown if if you stand, you know, anywhere over five seconds underwater. <laughs> yeah, I'm exaggerating, but you know what I'm you know you know what I mean. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, the so so that aspect I haven't been able to to explore fully, but I can't wait. It looks like it's gonna be. It's, it looks like it's gonna be a, a, a fun, you know. Um, weapons have been uh, expanded. Uh, it's not just your, you know, bows and what was the other thing? The slingshots and stuff like that. Spear. It, it, spear. Yeah, it has. It has. I didn't remember if the first one has had a spear. I know this one definitely does. Um, you have an ex- exploding spear that it is very useful actually against some big targets. And I am about probably 10 or 11 hours, um, you know, in, in it probably, probably a little bit, uh, a little bit more. I'm starting to find my, my blue items. Um, this game teases, teases you into thinking you know this is gonna be like a really cool loot game but it's totally not because if you remember the first one your loot quote-unquote loot is sort of predetermined already yeah i was gonna say it it, wasn't a loot game in the first it wasn't a loot game exactly you were just getting uh you know item and and, uh, items basically that you will bring to a place so that they will so you can fashion you know your your armor or, or 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 weapons and stuff, but it was from a from a set of 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 yeah uh, schematics. Mm-hmm. I want to call them. It was from That's a right, set of yeah. schematics that you will you will be yeah yeah. So that's I can't call it disappointing because that's how the first game was. But mm-hmm. I would have liked something a little bit more different than just more. Zero Dawn, because even in the menus and even in the in the way you do everything, the animation is exactly the same. Uh, uh, it, 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 it's just too close to the to the original one, you know. If, if if I don't, I'm not gonna sit down and say this could have been an expansion because that would be stupid. Because obviously, this is a lot, you know. I'm also not gonna call it Horizon 1.5 because that wouldn't be fair either. Um, I'm just saying that they were playing it safe with 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 Eloy with with everything. Mm. Um, the story is so far is so far is interesting. So far, you know, it uh, it's carrying me it's carrying my interest a little bit more than the original one. Uh, you know, was. So, okay. so that's good. You know, there's, there's, there's certainly some, like, it feels like, e- e- well, I'm not going to say anything other than it, it, it is, expect some, some surprises, you know, some cool things. So, so that's that, I remember the original being interesting in the beginning a little bit, maybe not yeah. the whole, uh, when she was little and all that, but. Shortly thereafter, it was kind of interesting because you're kind of getting the, you know, the inciting incident and everything going. Then when yeah, she starts yeah. exploring, it's like, wow, okay. So now it just kind of, it kind of becomes that open world. And then at some point, mm-hmm. you start really hitting the major story beats. And then right. it got interesting again. Uh, but at that point, you're already 30 hours in and, and there was still probably another 15, 20 hours to go. And yes. you realize, you're like, fuck. <laughs> yeah. I remember that. This one, th- this one feels like you might be like they might have heard, <laughs> they might have heard uh, some Complaints. critique on that because th- th- it feels like the it start, you know, it, it starts picking up earlier than thirty hours in. Although you also, to be fair, you also f- it's an open world game, so you also feel the trappings of the little quests. That are mm-hmm. like, what am I doing this for? And and they're not in any particularly interesting or special way that 
you know, they're not quest that question, you know, the morality of things or, or, or that the, their, their stories are like super interesting or something like Witcher like, like it's, it's not even that the, uh, you know, the quests, uh, they're also not particular fetch quests, uh, with a few exceptions. Um, but there it's, it's, it's your standard, like, listen, after playing a shit ton of Assassin's Creed Valhalla, I'm getting a lot of deja vu. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Um, the... well, Valhalla came out after Horizon Zero. Yeah. So you can see yes. that. You can see yeah, a little yeah, bit of influence. I, I, but, I mean, you also have to remember her, of Valhalla's probably was in development for a while though, but no. And, and actually, point. yeah. Prior, uh, um, Odyssey, you know, even, right. even Odyssey, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Odyssey so, another one. so, 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 so yeah. Uh, no, but, but what I'm trying to say, it obviously it's not the same game, but it is the same structure. It is the same type of open worldness where, um, it's not like, there's not going to be anything in particular, or at least I haven't found it yet in the time print that I've, that I've been playing that it's like, Oh my God, that was so cool to explore. Like, you know, it's, there's, you're not going to get Elden Ring exploration vibes with it. Mm. This is your standard, like two dimensional open, uh, open world, game, open world game. I don't mean two dimensional in the sen- in the, in the graphical sense, but in the sense of, uh, it is very plain. You know, you have done this before. And of course you did. You did it in the first one. So, but it's but overall, it, it, it is it is good. Um, things that I was a little disappointed to see, I, you know, I started talking about it, the, the, the bugs uh, on your, unfortunately, they, they creep. And I will say, like I say, I, I don't want uh, I don't want anybody to misunderstand and think like, oh, it is this game is super buggy and unplayable. Like it's it's not like that. It's just for the level of quality of games that you have already seen uh, uh, so far, including including the original Horizon uh, Zero Dawn. This one seemed like it might have been either rushed or. The, or it didn't have the same level of polish because uh, hmm. it is it, it you encounter just minor bugs a little bit more than you remember seeing on, on you know on on the first one and so far thank thank goodness it's just been annoyances you know a, a texture not not loading you know uh, properly uh, voice that my yeah, that seeming seemingly comes out of uh, or, or cuts down or cuts out. Uh, for example, uh, what's another uh, another? There hasn't been any T poses thing. On. Oh my god, no, no, no. There hasn't been any. There hasn't been any. <laughs> hasn't been any. Uh, but um, that's but, yes, you know, the record. It, <laughs> yeah, that, that? Yeah, that would be unacceptable. Yeah, oh, people yeah. says uh, Horizon game will be ridiculous. Uh, their their face, even with the graphical jump to to PS Five, the the faces they still look very uncanny valley, you know, yeah, in the yeah. back. Like like their eyes do these things where they always look like animatronics and. Like I've never oh, like Mass be- Effect. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah kind of like Mass Effect, right? Uh Eloy in particular, which is, you know, obviously the main character you always see on every cut scene and and her facial expressions, they and like they're not bad. It's just that we've already like that was okay for last gen. Like we have done better, you well, know. Well, this is technically a last gen <laughs> game. Just saying. As, as, yes, you're not wrong. <laughs> yeah. You're yeah. not wrong. Not, not actually, it's you. When you put it that way, it like all the pieces of the puzzle <laughs> find a place. That like, and now I understand why is it that I'm like I've seen like I've seen. 
really cool game. Obviously, I can't wait to go back, but I'm not being blown away by anything in particular. And I've been wondering, like, why is that? And and you just did it perfectly. It's like, of course, this yeah. is not yeah. a true next, you know, next gen title. Yeah. That's uh, exactly what came to mind when it was like, wait, so it's coming to PlayStation 4? It's not a PlayStation 5 <laughs> exclusive? Okay. No. Uh, All right. Well, and there you go. And then, and, and doesn't you know, seem to, work, to be running any special features that you can say, well, oh, this is what is really taking advantage like, of. That's, the... what I'm, that's exactly what I'm trying to say. Is that we said it at the time, right? We're yeah. like, uh, they're not going to, you know, they're not going to disappoint their PlayStation 4 folk for not having a PlayStation 5. They're going to make it mm-hmm. equal. Now, it looks good, you know, as, as you say, it does. Um, but at the same time, it's like clearly they're just, and, and that's what worries me about God of War, to be honest with you. But yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, uh, yes, I would say, I, I will say that is something to keep in uh, to to keep in mind. It, it this this is not the PlayStation 5's full potential, you know, uh, type type of games. Um, and you remember the this engine being. Amazing in frigging um ah the Kojima game. Um, oh, uh, that's trending. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On that trending, like you didn't see any of those issues. That you know, it, it like that shit was polished to perfection. I I I had zero bugs with 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 that trending, and and I realized nowadays the, with the way gaming uh industry is and you know the the way that you know with vir- everything being virtual and stuff like that like i i get it i get it developing it's not easy i don't expect my games to be flawless although i don't think that's how tall order i mean <laughs> it is kind it of is what not, you're yeah, hoping yeah. kind of yeah. what you're expecting yeah. i think that's more of a of a commentary towards uh kojima productions you know obsessive nature for perfection yes you know what i mean yeah, and yeah, yeah. not that guerrilla games isn't you know trying to be you know trying to be as perfect as they can be but it's like they're like mm-mm, it's I not mean, ready yeah. we're not it, releasing it, until it's until it's ready to go so yeah and yeah. to mention and let's also be real let's let's give credit where credit due as well in the sense that there wasn't a lot outside on the in the world of uh death stranding you know what I mean? The world of of this game is much True. more populated with shit as opposed to right. That's as opposed to so. as barren as correct. Correct. So yeah, let's that's, also let's also not give a hundred percent credit. Yeah, or, or right, you know, right, right. No, I'm I'm thinking like there are companies that, I mean, it, you look at a Rockstar game, and you, the, you might see patches addressing performance. But you don't see them ad- addressing necessarily bugs. Like those games are nearly flawless when they come out, <laughs> for the most part. Yeah, and that's just not, not counting the re- uh, remasters, uh, recent remasters. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> except if we the clear one hundred percent exception of that horrible ass <laughs> shit. But I hey, do. that also that also you know points out even they are it's although technically role. that wasn't that wasn't them that was a a, a third party they used for it but still you know, that's, that's, they're the they ones put, publishing it you know yeah so they put that, they're they're okay put that, with it being yeah. that way exactly yeah 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 no fuck that I completely forgot <laughs> about that horrible uh, GTA remaster like how do you fuck that up anyway um, the the and this might you might think this is tied up to my dislike of forces in game, but god damn it if it, it horizon doesn't have one of the fucking worst mounting systems like in in gaming general bar none it's so fucking bad. <laughs> Oh dear lord! I didn't. Re- I don't remember. I don't. Re- I didn't remember it being this bad on 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 Zero Dawn, and I must have. I must have black blacked it out because. And I'm not saying bad in the sense that it is broken. I'm saying bad that it is. Uh, it's confusing and and yeah, maybe a little bit broken in some areas because 
why is it so difficult in the year of our Lord 2022? Why is it so difficult to make, uh, uh, you know, horse riding? <laughs> like Elden Ring perfected that shit. And there have been <laughs> other games that have done very well. Like, I'm not asking for double jump. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you, but, know, you can't always have a horse that comes out of nowhere. Nowhere. You know I mean? <laughs> exactly. It's, no, yeah, I, I, it works and I get the ring, but, you know. I get that. I like the idea of, oh, I need to tame my mount, which in this case is more like reprogramming it with my magic stick <laughs> uh, with my magic spear or whatever uh so you know she overrides the the, the mount and then and then yeah you know, she goes in and off she goes but but then whose fucking idea was to make it to where I need a PlayStation controller <laughs> and a drink <laughs> <laughs> so, so this is what this this, this is how this is how you write fucking months on it, and you can correct. This is probably the same way as Horizon, and I'm just blanking it out oh, because I, I have. It's been years. I have no clue. Um. Yeah. So 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 you you mount with the square button first of all. Okay. Do you mount and dismount with the square button? Uh, hmm. I can't. Okay. The triangle button is right there, but no. Let's just make it with the square button because every other game is mounts with a triangle. That's fine. Or even circle. Who <laughs> gives a shit? But no. If you want to go fast, it, you don't pull the left stick forward like... Or hold on. Is it the left? Now I don't even know. I'm so confused. Is it the... Yeah, it's the left stick forward to walk or, or 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 sprint or run or gallop uh no for some fucking unknown reason is the x button and you have to press it like 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 if it was like you like there were gears on a car you know like oh <laughs> press it once I, i'm going uh you know at a at a trot you know <laughs> press it again and now i'm running and press it th- press it again now i'm sprinting all right <laughs> Oh, I need to, I need to break. Hold on. Let me press the, the, the circle button. Oh, full fucking stop from going at a hundred miles per hour to zero wow. by pressing, by pressing a uh, circle. I'm like, what? There's, you mean to tell me there is no momentum <laughs> or am I on an, on a planet where there's no gravity or I don't have to worry about that shit? Um, if I need to make a term, dear Lord, first of all, the if if I don't if if I don't touch the the if if I don't direct my my uh what is it that he that he's I'm gonna call it a horse. It's not a horse in the I don't call it a horse. Who gives a shit? If I don't control my horse, it'll just like meander every, everywhere like a drunken fucking it's crazy. I don't know, like It'll, guess, I guess it, 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 it's it's uh, behaving like a real animal. Like a real, okay, yeah, yeah. It's going to happen, dude. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Fuck the game. Oh, no, it is a, it is a machine, so it's it's still <laughs> exactly. Out, no, it, that, it yeah, just yeah. goes, it just goes every wherever where it wants to go. So okay, so fine. I will direct you where I want to steer you, but then why is it then when I hit left a little bit? You suddenly want to make a whole 360 degree move, like turn me back. Like what the hell is happening? All I want is to go to the left or to the right, like a little bit, you know, and I I, I press to the right. Oh, suddenly I am at a 90 degree angle going right, but I'm still, I'm still running. So, so it, now it took me completely off course and, oh, wait, I'm going to hit that tree. Oh, wait full stop you know from 100 miles to zero if i encounter so much as a stone on my road it's so bad it's it's it, it's like like i said i don't remember zero dawn having this i it must have because i think my hate yeah, yeah. started I, from I was, that game I was gonna <laughs> started say, with yeah. that when i realized like oh yeah i must not like this so <laughs> according to this is from from horizon zero dawn uh mm. you hold the override button until it fills fills up mm. uh you'll be able to mount the machine once it's completed tapping x speeds it up tapping o slows it down yeah uh, you have to tap it up 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 uh, i mean x x x to go fast or circle 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 to reduce speed uh, and and sometimes 
you just you you're so used to square being the slowdown. The I'll press it by mistake. Oh, Aloy jumped from my ho- from my horse. You know how she did. She doesn't even dismount. She just leaps out of it in the most awkward way. It's animation department. What the hell happened here? <laughs> like that shit should be fixed in a patch. Like I'm hoping they they address that because it doesn't feel it doesn't feel organic. It doesn't feel good. Everything else. It's it's great. All the animations of everything else, like they nailed that shit. But don't make me get on a on a horse, because I mean, you just I, you just don't get on a horse. Just don't just don't get on a fucking horse. Just also, the damn horses. <laughs> I the was future, looking for something has to be able to fly. Yes, I, yes. You know, I wonder, and maybe you can mount something that flies. You know, although I can't imagine how that will be. Yeah, like, Jesus, if they can so do the, the, that, it's gonna be the horse, the right? Um, the game has one of your favorite activities uh, of Fishing. all open oh. world games, which is stop me from doing the main quest and and and, and just uh, waste my attention on something on a on a board game or something. <laughs> Oh, um, they have Gwent. Yes. Have, yeah. Not, so you know, no. You know, <laughs> you know that you know that they're uh, they're clearly they're doing the uh, what do you call it? They're trying to do Gwent essentially. And, and, and yeah. Well, like, except that Gwent wasn't the first one. That was Tetra Master from Final Fantasy games. Thank you very oh, much. Oh, no, I know. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is because uh, I remember when Horizon Zero Dawn came out. Uh, it, you it had was, something right. You had uh, a game. Like oh, I don't remember the first one of the game. No, it, what I'm trying to say is like this was this was shortly thereafter uh, of uh, of The Witcher Three. Oh yeah, and and you know it is like and of course The Witcher Three, that particular game led to one the Gwent game and two a spinoff game, you know, story player. So there was just more to be had there, and and, uh, and yeah, and Gwent was a, a an intricate game that was, was fun, fun and that, 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 that it was expanded because it was fun. It was fun to play the play, play, play Gwen. Um, I'm not sure how, how I feel about it. Well, I know how I feel about it. I don't like it. You, on the other hand, you might appreciate it because it is very, it's very, like if I had to describe it some way, it's almost like attack chess. Mm-hmm. Um, and you have been playing chess a lot. And you know that one of the things of playing chess is you want to, you you want to make your move anticipating your opponent's move, so you, you want to think a few moves ahead, you know, and you want to and you want to 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 have an idea of what your move could mean to to your opponent. So you don't want to put yourself in a position where suddenly you know uh, they they have an uh, an easy advantage over you or whatever. Correct. So. Yeah. So this game is it's almost that it's it's almost like a you know you you got chess pieces and well instead of chess pieces they're actually machine pieces you know they're supposed to be of course they're supposed to to represent the the, mach- the machines that you, that you attack uh, you know and they're cute in the shape they they look wooden made they they look like they were made for a game like like I can I can see. I can see if this was a little bit more engaged or, or, or a little bit more interesting or, or more people would have clam, clamored for it. Uh, I, I can see like a real tabletop version of of this. It, that there's a real chance here for uh, for a real board game of, of this type. Um, I'm sure that's what they're wanting. The, the, yeah. Probably, yeah. I mean, I, I, I don't see... It doesn't look like it's, it's, it's too difficult. Uh, you play on a grid... The grid is, you know, the, there's certain types of terrain based on. Yeah, I was going to say, it looks like it has uh, valleys and, and okay. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. And then, and that could present advantages or disadvantages depending on what type of, uh, you know, what what chess piece you have, you know, in that case. And it has rules about, you know, your, your movements. It, it has uh, flanking maneuvers also. You can attack. Uh, enemies weak points for massive damage. Uh, so it, it it has all the construct of of a, of, of a 
elaborate game where you could have fun with it. Um, I I honestly don't get too much into them um, because I, I see them as, as distraction. I'm, I'm playing Horizon. I want to play the story. I don't want to play chess in it, <laughs> but... You might appreciate it because you've been playing chess lately, and 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 I understand you like that. And uh, I don't know. It seems like it's uh, it could be something interesting. You know, when some games try too hard to make something like that, like I don't mm-hmm. know, it, it it like it feels like okay, this is way too complex or elaborate or weird. Like it doesn't feel like a legitimate. You know, well, uh, I mean, mini I game. My concern, it just looking at it is, it's clear that I'm gonna waste your fucking time. Yes. The, <laughs> no. Well, maybe, but the um the board changes, so the board could be different yes. depending on who you play. So it's like, well, that is, I don't know how that would fly. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, you how mean, do you? Uh, so what? So making uh, making the uh, region because that that happens. That you know that that is a thing on of, of board games. You know, board games are released with several different boards and then you can sort of pick. Okay. Well, then yeah, you go. I mean, I I'm just thinking of chess in general. So chess is, you know, it's oh, no. the same terrain. Yes. Um, yes. Chess is very time. standard. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm saying. It's almost like a, it, it's almost like a fun variation on, on, on that because yeah. now you're, you're, you're thinking of not just the move and your opponent moves, but also the terrain in itself, you know, uh, so and, and, and to be fair, chess has also been uh, adapted. Uh, I, I I had a board that was four player chess, and and I've seen the the Star <laughs> Trek chess, or or maybe it was Battlestar Star Trek chess, chess. Or something like that. Uh-huh. So yeah, it, it, they have they have been. So I take that back. They have been uh, different variations. It's just this one is yeah, strange. Yeah, you know? this is, this this feels like this feels like a very vari- you know the variation of that. And also, you don't have to like eat all the all the uh the 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 opponent's uh machine pieces mm-hmm. you like it's 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 not that's that's not how you win the game it's it's basically it's like checkers. every machine huh it's not like checkers it's, right right no it, it's every machine that you put on the on the board has a certain victory point value and so so in essence you can you can you can go for a smaller machine you know uh that might not be as strong but also, if you lose it, it doesn't give the enemy that many points. It might just give them one victory point um, versus a stronger machine where it could give him two or three or I don't know. I haven't played any higher than that. Um, in which case, losing just a few of those means, you know, the opponent won. So you kind of have to also uh, play with that because I believe each of you have like like a like a bar that gets filled as you're losing pieces, you know it, it gets it, it gets you. filled yeah. out. Yeah, yeah, I see it. Yeah, at the top, so, each of them has a okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it's already looking so, interesting. So that is so that is yeah no I like I, I'm telling you, you may appreciate that when when you play a little bit more advanced because at the beginning the the tutorial even though it kicked my ass which is the reason why <laughs> I remember I posted that picture <laughs> with very flowery language and you guys were like whoa this is bringing me memories That's of why, Elden because Ring. Beat you damn the tutorial <laughs> lady <laughs> beat me hilarious. several times that is several hilarious. times before I was able to finally beat her, and then I realized like this feels like an empty victory. <laughs> like I didn't learn <laughs> anything. <laughs> this was not. This is not. You know, you don't get anything particularly phenomenal on it. You know, it's it's like this. This is a waste of time. I don't want to do this. <laughs> you know, this game is long enough as it is already. You know, but it's content, and you kind of feel compelled to. To try do it, it or at least try or or who knows maybe see if you get it and and you enjoy it like but no I, I I'm not a I'm not a I spent bad. eighty hours playing a uh, a Gwent in, in exactly that. imagine that in imagine Witcher. yeah eighty, imagine out, 80 out of the three hundred some odd hours I put into Witcher were just playing Gwent just Gwent. random folks. Uh, For what yeah. purpose? Oh, because you're collecting cards, bro. You're collecting cards. You're and collecting. You're, yeah, man. That's what... Are the cards making? Are you? Are the cards sure. progressing your character? Okay, let's try not to rationalize. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's the way I see it. It's like what I, whatever they I'm all getting, are I, technically 
in my head because it's like, <laughs> yes, Geralt, the wolf of Rivia, uh, you know, the 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 butcher of Blaviken, you know what I mean? Now has a, a huge title. Nerd, a huge dork. And that is Gwent Master. <laughs> you know what I mean? And in order to be Gwent Master, you have to have all the cards. So, you know. Yeah. Oh, fuck that shit. No, that see, silly role playing shit there. Go ahead. <laughs> the, it, 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 in Horizon, like, it looks like at least you get skill points even from winning that, which I'm like, God damn it. I'm never going to get those skill, point, skill points then because. Well, there you go. You're asking I don't what's the do point. <laughs> yes, but role. that's what I'm saying. Like, even with that, I'm like. Ah, oh, no, no, thank you. <laughs> Fuck this shit. I'm out. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Uh, no, oh, 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 overall, I, I'll say, you know, I, obviously, obviously it is a phenomenal game. All right. Uh, there, there's, there was never any doubt on that. You know, the disappointment is more the fact that, holy shit, if this is after the, I've waited this long, and I'm still seeing bugs. Like I don't want to imagine how this game released, you know, how this game was was out. Because even though it might be, it's not at, at the level of a Ubisoft open world game, but bugs. you don't expect that. Like that's not the the that's not the the thing you you're measuring it against. You know, you're measuring it against. You know the Sony stable of of games. You know you're That's measuring fine. against uh, freaking Spider Man and and uh, and uh, what are other Sony games? My wow, mind is completely God of War, <laughs> La- Last of Us, <laughs> uh, God I mean, of War. Last of Us is top tier. At that point, you're just like, okay, if you if you if you can Uncharted. mention it, Uncharted, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's 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 what I'm saying. Like you're comparing it to, to that, not to. <sighs> I don't know. Uh, it's still a top tier game. It's still it's still fun. Just temper your. I, I told you temper your expectations, and you're gonna be impressed if you start expecting like it's gonna be something out. Of, you know, something completely like next gen. It's one hundred percent not. <laughs> it is very samey, and it controls and acts and feels like and. And again, I mean, who knows? You played it on, on even on PlayStation Pro. This was running at 30 frames, if I'm not mistaken, right? Or or am I wrong? I, I could be wrong. But which one? It doesn't uh, matter because you didn't because you never had you, yeah, you, you, say, you, didn't, you didn't get a, a a pro anyway. So so th- so playing it uh, at as uh, 60, uh, it's gonna feel good. That part I guarantee you, you're gonna like. And yeah, can't wait to your exploits whenever you uh decide to go into it and uh i i'd be interested in knowing uh how uh, how you how you like machine strike which is the name of the game the machine, main, strike, yeah. is the machine game. strike yeah machine strike yeah to see yeah. um coming from a person that likes and enjoys just in general <clears throat> uh i'm not ready to give a, a score but it, it's it's still projecting high obviously okay yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, what else? I watch redacted. <laughs> Actually, no. We're gonna. Put... You're gonna say it too. I was like, he's gonna fucking say redacted right here, right now. I'm just gonna say. <laughs> Should we say it together? I... Should we say it together? Huh? Should we say it together? <laughs> just say it together. <laughs> okay. Right, if you right. raise yourself, all right. I, I, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna think this is it. I don't know. Gonna, we're gonna go with it. Gonna right. go with it. <laughs> One, two, three. Kids Doctor in the hall. Strange. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh I'm, my god. <laughs> I'm kidding. That was not the redacted one. But yes, I watched Kids in the Hall, and no. <laughs> I, I would not recommend pulling it up. <laughs> yeah. oh, no. Although I I would just for you to watch this really fucking disturbing scene. Oh my god! Really? Okay, it's well d- disturbing. I mean, I'm not talking about like gory or anything like that. Obviously, it's it's a joke. It's kids in the hall, <sighs> but it is still eye searing and disturbing <laughs> enough that you're that I don't know. 
Uh, well, I, I guess I don't know. Lately, I think Amazon is just turning into like fucking uh, Cinemax after hours or something. Like they don't give a shit anymore. <laughs> don't they have a orgy scene in the freaking um, the boys? Uh, the boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, yeah. that's what they. they <laughs> yes. yeah, that's what they're calling. No, they, 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 evidently, like I, I have, I have no. Because I, I, I don't watch the boys. I haven't watched. Uh, you know, the, you need the to series. watch the boys. Yeah, okay. At some point, maybe. Um, it's, yeah, it's just yeah. don't got my attention, but that's fine. That's fine. You you will eventually <laughs> stumble into it. Oh, I'm aware of it because it's all <laughs> over the freaking internet. But go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, uh, you know, this scene of uh, oh, kids and all that I'm describing, it, it might it might be. Uh, yeah, no, actually, don't watch it. <laughs> it's gonna, it's it's gonna mess with your head. Anyway, that's not what I watch. Actually, uh, what I watch. Wait a minute, did you say that's so strange? I sure <laughs> did not. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> well, shit. <laughs> well, shit. All right. So the actual redacted uh, that I've been teasing that I've watched this week, uh, it probably didn't come as a surprise. Was Obi Wan, Obi Wan Kenobi. That's the one. That, that's the series I watched. Really? Um, okay. Did, did you Did you watch it? Well, it's yeah. not your turn, so I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Wait your turn. I have not watched that. No. Okay. Okay. I want to give you my take on it because I watched it with the wife. Uh, all five episodes, only five episodes, and uh, yeah, no, man, it's uh. It, <laughs> It's yeah, more slower than it. It's, it's yeah. <laughs> Necessary? No. <laughs> Entertaining? Eh, yeah. It was all right, you know. Um that was my fear, bro. I I have I have I haven't watched it. So I'm I'm mm. you know, we have Dark and I respect Dark's opinion for the record. Yeah. Um I think he's the only one I know within the group who's seen it. And there's some people on the outskirts who, you know, on, on Facebook, like, oh, my God, episode this, you know, not spoiling anything, just kind of just hyping it up. And I'm like, OK, OK. Uh, and then um, mm. I was uh, doing Father's Day. I was uh, went to go see my father, obviously, um, or rather the day before. But anyway, um, my cousin's husband, she he's like, oh, man, you need to watch it. You know, you need to watch it. I was like, really? It's like that? Goes, yeah, yeah. And I was like, do I need to see Book of Boba? And he's like, no, no, you don't need to see that. It's, it's two different timelines. I'm like, great. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> then I will watch it eventually. <laughs> you know, but I'm just like not getting there. Yeah, so, it, it, yeah. It, it, those guys, if, if if they're fan and they're like, it, that, that's great. Yeah, but oh, yeah, I yeah, feel they like they are seriously fans, yeah. They are they are doing they are doing you a great disservice, sir. Because <laughs> <laughs> so, they are hyping you for something that will not land anywhere. <laughs> this series is a bunch of episodes that don't exceed a three, <laughs> and even at the end, uh, it did not exceed. A three, which is the final score. Three out of five, I mean. So that's yeah, still, yeah, yeah. that's yeah, still good. Uh, um, Everybody needs no, to know no. our thing. If yeah. Our scale goes up to five, guys. If you don't up know it five. by now, exactly. then I don't want to tell you. Exactly. <laughs> what I'm saying is that in no way I'm going to call it mediocre because a lot of, I mean, a lot of fucking money went into it. <laughs> no, no, no. I, like, it, it was still, it was, it was a project. <laughs> I, I see. I can't say. I can't say it was a labor of love because no, nothing feels like it was. Honestly, it just feels like a cash grab. And I'm That's sorry. It it's it's it, it it is what it is. It just feels like a a, a completely unnecessary story. Um. Uh, based on or oh, actually, or I guess I I don't know if I should say. I don't know how much it's shown on trailers. Oh, no, or yeah. Uh, don't know, yeah. Because oh, okay, I, I, won't, I won't. So, but but it is needless to say, it is it, it is an unnecessary story. They say, oh, you know, it kind of fixes some of the uh, plot holes of episode one or episode four, or, or, or I mean, episode uh, three or episode four. And I'm like, no, it fucking 
doesn't. <laughs> You're trying to like super go too into Who the hell said that. Jeez. Re- in, in, in essence, if you really think about it, here's what I do know about it is uh, the, the timeline that it takes place between this and the original uh, Star Wars. Uh, not a lot of time actually pass. And both o- Owen and freaking Obi-Wan age like 30 years. If you really look at it, Obi-Wan <laughs> looks like this. And in and in what is literally 15 years, he looks like the old guy we saw in the first movie. <laughs> I was like, damn, the sun is bad out there in, in Tatooine. Because, <laughs> yeah, fuck, that dude dried the hell up. Yeah, than that, you know, obviously there is a redacted character <laughs> that shows up, man. <laughs> And he Completely or she boots. or it looks yeah. redacted. <laughs> uh, <laughs> even, even worse. So that should, I mean, that shit should be, I mean, it's it, like, it, like it, it needs to be seen just to, just so you, so you can see like, you saw it, oh, yeah. Disney. <laughs> like, first of all, to justify the fact that we're still Aim for this service, <laughs> you know. Uh, after we already watched like whatever is it that, that we were interested in, uh, we're still you know we're still paying for the service, and and be <laughs> just going like, oh Disney, <laughs> you, you, you I, we know that you spent a lot of money on 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 Star Wars when you bought it, but I think I think it's time for you to do your original thing you know maybe just just drop the whole like this the the, the skywalker saga is fucked <laughs> anyway yeah you, you guys fucked it i just i should say it was fine you, know, you guys fucked it so like it doesn't really matter uh you're trying to give me a story of of obi-wan and i guess it's like it, it, it's fine you know i still i still <laughs> I still uh, uh, leave with the fact, even though this is this was one that opened and closed. You know, it's only five five uh, uh, episodes and uh, like close to an hour each. I still like Halo more, <laughs> and that it was not super great. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I remember so, the review of that one. So yeah, you know that should that should tell you so. This sounds um, like a two point five thing, because if I recall correctly, you gave the other three. A three, yes, 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 I did. It, it's like the safest score because you really can't without say insulting, right? no without insulting, because you can't say he's mediocre uh, unless it is, you know. And honestly, like me and my wife, like we were entertained, you know. We 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 had a time. It was cool to see. Uh, 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 Ian McGregor playing his role and other appearances, you know, it was like a, like that was nice. But then there were <laughs> I can't say anything. So there were other redacted appearances that were like, no, what the fuck, no, like what are you doing? Like, come on, unless you know, unnecessary or I guess very necessary because you made the. F- you made your series about this, so I guess it's <laughs> super necessary. However, like it's it, like it's not great. Anyway, and anyway, I don't know. And 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 in no in no episode you're gonna see whatever is the payout that that these guys are mentioning that they saw that maybe it was a payout for them. Who knows? I don't think it's gonna be for you, considering how jaded you are on Star Wars and uh, and 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 to me, I. I, I think i'm a little less jaded on it but still on that route like nothing here made me go like holy shit like wow like that's uh, you know mm-hmm. no it was more like oh, okay here we go more fan servicey crap now i'm curious for mm-hmm. you to see the mandalorian just to just to no, see I, do, if, I want if, to if you even uh, i want to i definitely want to because I mean, you you got to justify this subscription. It, so I, yeah. yeah exactly i gotta just yeah I, <laughs> you know um my and to be fair, my my wife's take of the whole thing is it was also that was like ah uh, it's yeah yeah she still like Rogue One a lot more than any of the movies oh I remember right? <laughs> so I remember. My, my wife has watched Star Wars what just to see her talk about it it's almost like 
memes level of bad. Of uh, she was asking me like if, like literally, bless her heart. But if the if if the Obi Wan was from the Federation, <laughs> I swear, oh, it's so endearing, you know. Love, love. And she she's watched this 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 series, and it was surprising that that she was satisfied. You know, she was curious. She she asked questions, and and she even mentioned going back to watch the original ones because it's almost like like it 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 like it turned the, her interest you know on it i'm like you probably watch the pre the, you you have watched the other ones because i know you have because you've watched it with me but you've never seen them <laughs> you know uh you were probably never paying attention to what was happening on the screen that's why you don't know anybody you absorbing She's, any of it, it was no, no, no 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 yeah it was just google gaga what was happening on the screen it was not completely no interest whatsoever on who these characters are just like she knows the relationship of of anybody you know, you know to be honest with you so uh on this one she was enjoying a little bit more so and she wants to watch um the the prequels of of, of all things i think from episode two and three shows you can see like the events that led to what's happening here basically hmm. uh it's a 3.0 bro okay it's, it's not gonna be any more than that I, I, i'm gonna i'm gonna give it a, a three because it was it was entertaining i i did like that uh the the they 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 put they, they put money on on, on making some out authentic like uh like the say the uh bridge of a star destroyer for example it looks exactly like the what the way you remember it from like the original you know from like the original star wars and 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 there were some nice touches on that front but eh you know okay that's <laughs> all i gotta I say uh and the last thing i watch I try to you want to try it again. I, I I didn't read uh, I didn't redact this one, but I didn't mention I didn't mention that I've seen it. Although it shouldn't be a surprise because oh. last week I watched Top Gun, Doctor Strange. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I watched Top Gun Maverick. Oh, yep. Uh, I I went to the movie theaters with my wife uh, last Saturday. Because that was the whole point <laughs> of rewatching Top Gun to see, like, well, what the hell was this movie about? Oh, that's right. And then I remember, and I remember it was, um, it was good. Top Gun Maverick. <laughs> 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 Top Gun Maverick, bro. It's a movie. It's not a movie. <laughs> <laughs> Top Gun Maverick. It's a really good movie. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's it, it's uh, yeah. No, it's it's good. It's good. It's good because um, I didn't expect this. So evidently, I didn't know what a Top Gun Maverick was going to end up being. Uh, and um, I'm not here to spoil anything. So, but I will say that in my uncultured eyes. <laughs> <laughs> they really capture they were able to really capture somehow what the original movie was and that is kind of impressive to me because i was thinking oh you know this is the one they they got to they got to modernize it they got to make it about a conflict they 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 got to bring they they got to bring like the stakes and the crazy things and the Like they 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 gotta do that and uh, no, I mean they did it as much as the original had a conflict, you know, <laughs> a conflict with a with a opposing force opposing <laughs> that force. is never mentioned. No, you don't even see. They don't even show you their faces because they're like, mm, we're not gonna no, swim ex here. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> right. Exactly. No. A hundred percent. They they did that again. <laughs> 
<laughs> they did it again. It was an opposing force. And, uh, you know, obviously a, a little bit more um, interaction uh, with it. But notice I said a little bit, <laughs> you know. Um, it was more like a, the interpersonal. The, 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 well, you've seen the trailer. So you kind of know a little bit of what they're trying to set up. Uh, but you still, you know, you, you get a little curious of, okay, so how it can be just that, you know, right. Um, and it's not, it's, 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 uh, it, it's a little bit more, uh, again, not spoiling anything, but I really like, like I, like I mentioned that it somehow manages to capture that, Again, to me, my own culture, you might look at it and think of it as a fucking insult to the whole thing. <laughs> but somehow I doubt it because this movie is re- it's 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 being reviewed very well on the on the Metacritics or the uh, the the Rotten Tomatoes. It's it's, it's uh, as as fresh as it can get with a upwards of ninety somethings, uh, and that is audience. I, I, I mean, that is uh, critics and audience, I believe. Um, you can double check my numbers on it. Well, but yes, no, I, I gotta say, I, I, oh, and, and, and for it not having like the, it again, cause it's not a war movie, it's not a movie about war. So it, it's not, it's not those type of conflict, but it has a lot of tense moments <laughs> where you're like, oh, shit. <laughs> like, uh, and uh, and 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 he has some emotional moments. So so yeah, no, I really fucking like this movie. Uh, I'm, Ninety-seven I'm say- uh, critics, ninety-nine audience. I don't think you can get much higher than that. By the way, critics is four hundred and eighteen reviews. That's a lot, yeah. my friend. That's that's, that, a that's a lot. That that that's a lot. Yeah, that's basically uh, guaranteed. It's guaranteed good time. Yeah. Yeah, I, and I went on it, and honestly, like I did not give a shit about Tom Cruise, and I might say I still don't, but uh, he was fucking phenomenal here. It's like you said, you cannot deny that he's a good actor. Oh, for sure. You know, he cannot deny that maybe his whole life, is, he lives like he's still acting. Uh, who knows? <laughs> it might be only his, who knows? But uh, it was great. It was great. I was I I I watched the first one because I was curious uh, to watch the second one because I heard so many good things about it, and I couldn't fucking believe it because I was like, "Come on, they're <laughs> trying to bring Top Gun!" Like, come on, come on, guys. But uh, I left out uh, that series. Uh, that series. I, I I left out that that theater like very very glad with what I saw. Ah. Uh, some might say uh, a little impressed with the fact that they were able to 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 pull it off. Um, nice. I'm gonna. Ooh, I'm probably good, gonna huh? give this a 4.0 uh, solidly because I really fucking liked it. <laughs> nice. Nice. Uh, so it's a great. You, a great. you need to see this. You need. Okay. You, you you need to see this. Uh, I don't know if it's uh you know like I'm not gonna push you to the movie experience although you probably should but uh <laughs> um I thought that that was the thing that you watched but evidently it was something else maybe <laughs> so I am super super curious now I think I I think I um uh, I I feel my a lot of time right is, is this an hour and a half already uh, or do I still have time just to about, just about you know, yeah. just about okay just about. all right then. Uh, then I, I I give the mic to you, sir. <laughs> well, uh, all right. So I guess we can start off with what we've been watching since we've been redacting uh, so much. <laughs> uh, I for, I am going to get one of these out of the way because they're small and I don't really want to talk about it, but it is what, or not that I don't want to talk about it. I, I am watching it. I'm still watching it. It's a show. It is a Disney plus show. <laughs> Again, oh. one of those things to sort of, justify this, <laughs> this <laughs> so, is why they're good. Uh, yeah, that's it's, so raven yeah, uh, <laughs> it might as well be that uh, it's something called <laughs> the mysterious benedict society uh my Ooh. wife my wife uh found this it's about a group of uh gifted orphans who are recruited by uh this uh 
sort of eccentric guy uh, to go on a secret mission. And um, mm-hmm. the first episode really kind of lays that out pretty well. Um, it, it, it has this weird way of shooting its episodes. It almost feels Wes, Wes, uh, uh, Wes Anderson like. And, and so that's why I, I kept going. And now of course the mystery is still there. So I'm like, all right, well, let's, mm-hmm. let's see what's going on. But apparently something's going on in the world. I wonder if it has little something to do with um, how things are going on right now, where the internet's quickly <laughs> make people change their ways and doing stuff. And suddenly there's a craze, even though there's not necessarily. So this guy, um, this evil person, we don't know at the beginning anyway, uh, mm-hmm. is sending out messages and, and, and he's testing it because he wants to sort of take, control of the world for whatever reason and um and he's tested it with a few things well he'll send out these subliminal messages through the air and people hear it and suddenly you see them shopping for fucking french berets because that was one of the messages he's, oh it's working it's working uh and anyway you can draw some parallels here between <laughs> that and again you know the internet and the and the we're you know the fake news that we have nowadays and all that <laughs> you know? so when i saw that i was like okay okay i get it i get it i see where we're going here <laughs> you know what I mean? um but again it's more about uh the, the kids and, and 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 these are kids these are probably 12 year olds i mean pretty much like the same age of of the cast from stranger things in season one is about the same yes. age right here so um uh, but is it is it is it, is it good it's it does, well, you say you're still watching, so it, it's I'm still watching. Early. It's it's only eight episodes for the season. And I think we're six in, so we only got two left. Um, it is a slow burn, and that can either be good or bad. Sometimes it's not good. It's like it's lingering. It's like, please move on to the next scene. Thank you. <laughs> and other times it's slow burn because it's letting certain information sink in. And other times mm-hmm. it's a slow burn because it's being ironic with the situation. You know what I mean? So it's... And a lot of times those work. Sometimes it doesn't. It's just one of those like it's like weird, you know what I mean? When we're we're just we're just working our way through it. Uh, <laughs> so, um, we still don't know what the fuck we're going to talk about here, but the, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, anyway, that's the mysterious Benedict of, uh, Benedict Society, and uh, that's on Disney Plus, and it has good reviews by the way. I think it's in the eighties of uh, Rotten Tomatoes. If you wanted to use that, okay, um, right? Anyway. So starting with Redacted, uh, I too saw Top Gun Maverick. (laughs) (laughs) Yes! You (laughs) motherfucker. Two can play at this game, my friend. (laughs) You have me, though. You have me. I thought we were going to talk about uh, Doctor Strange. (laughs) I don't know if to feel excited or disappointed here. <laughs> well, sir, all this time that this. I was talking about Top Gun, you were just like, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Okay, <laughs> just wait until the world went my turn. If, if, it, if there's any consolation, uh, it was very difficult not to spill the beans early. <laughs> um, <clears throat> anyway, no, I, oh, I did see. Uh, well, let's <laughs> let's get the the actual proper take on <laughs> to, on Top Gun Maverick. Then. So Top Gun Maverick. Uh, <clears throat> first off, <laughs> yes, I agree. This is uh, this is a. Uh, I guess I can get it out of the way. And just, well, first off, it is. <laughs> it mirrors the original movie many many ways yes. you know and it's, it's most of the time they call those uh like leg- legacy sequels which you know basically it's meant to be nostalgic for whatever reason and whatever and um <laughs> they copy pasted they copy pasted i mean the- literally the <laughs> intro literally. No, yeah uh, uh i guess slight spoilers for the very first few seconds <laughs> uh, yes uh, <laughs> it is literally the same intro same song same <laughs> everything same- it, yeah, not the same it, sceneries. I was, the same I was confused. Yeah, I was like, yeah, oh, shit, yeah, yeah. They- I was like, wow, they are okay. All right, respect, <laughs> you know. Um, but obviously, it's a different tale. And I overall thought it was so much fun. Um, I we watched it at the at the uh, epic. At the ah, XL yeah. Theater. So we had a massive freaking screen. Oh, shit. No uh, way. Yes, sir. Oh, and I'm so excited for you. I just went to Lake Murray and the smallest screen that they have over there. It's like, 
kid. <laughs> <laughs> I should have gone to like Chakra's house, probably. Probably the his it was, a little better. <laughs> it was definitely worth doing that because the sequences. First off, I, <clears throat> they. I don't know if they sh- they played that in front of yours, but at the very beginning, before the movie even plays, Tom fucking Tom Cruise comes out and, and thanks everybody for coming to yeah, see yeah. the theater. You know what I mean? Yes. Uh, and, you know, he goes a little bit that this is, you know, these are being filmed in jets. You know what I mean? This is not, yes. you know. And I had learned <laughs> after that, by the way, um, some behind the scenes stuff. That he learned how to fly a fucking jet because it wouldn't surprise me. The well, he he knows how to fly, but I don't know if he I don't know if he flew those jets. But I learned <laughs> that some of the actors who were who were involved uh, mm-hmm. had like actual vomit bags, you know what I mean, in the cockpit because <laughs> they had to like literally do it and then continue the scene. You know, what I mean? it's like <laughs> wow, that is dedication. <laughs> You know I mean? oh, shit. And you can see it on this, not the vomit, but you can see the, the G forces and, and the you vomit. can see their faces and you could just go, you could, the shifting and everything's like, holy shit, this is, <laughs> it's so visceral, bro. And yes. I agree, bro. I'm not, I'm not a huge, I don't really care for Tom Cruise as, as a, as a person, but as an actor, someone who wants you to go to the theater, because by the way, this movie was supposed to come out in 2020, bro. Yes, this, it was true. like the, right at the beginning of the pandemic. It was supposed to come out in 2020, and he was no, no. <laughs> we're gonna push this shit out. And so far, with the box office, smart fucking move. Smart yeah, yeah. Move, you know this, I mean? this movie is like wreck, racking it up. It's ridiculous. Um, right now, the only thing that can possibly uh, take it down is 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 Thor: Love and Thunder. And honestly, I don't mm, know. You I, know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know. Sometimes, but as far, um, maybe maybe finally of uh, of its end tales that that it has maybe, but. But making the making the movie, uh, making the money, I would say hell no. Yeah, no, exactly, exactly. The um, it is definitely again an extremely fun fun movie. It it, it doesn't it is by the way. Um, there was a comparison I remember uh, here. It's like this is Mission Impossible. This is Mission Impossible under the guise <laughs> of being a Top Gun film. Really? And if you've seen any of the Mission Impossible films, you would you would <laughs> immediately know. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it does, you know, because <laughs> you have the plan at the beginning. Oh, oh well, I won't I won't go into these. But essentially you have what you have to do, right? It's mm-hmm. almost right. it's almost like a it's almost like a heist film. You know what I mean? It's like you have the yeah, plan yeah. that you have to do and 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 then the rest of the time you just you just oceans right, eleven, right? You're just planning yeah, it out and, and doing, yeah. you know, whatever. And then you do it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and and you you know, this is actually what but obviously way more action. Uh, and why? Because it's fucking Tom Cruise. That's what he does. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? So he's doing action. So um, I really dug uh, dug that. I dug seeing, uh, and I, w- I won't say it here because I don't think he's in the trail. Uh, it's in the trailer, but some some cameos, and uh, and that was we should cool. have made this the topic. God damn it! <laughs> and uh, and and I just realized we're probably gonna have a four hour podcast, but it is what it is. Anyway. Um, <laughs> It is cool to see that he was the the you know the, 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 what callbacks they did, um, mm. you know I I also like the fact they didn't stick on unnecessary subjects. It really just no. the the movie was paced perfectly, you know. And it's like yeah. it, you, we know why you're here. We know what you what you want to see, and and we're gonna show it. And and it's a shame because the bar is now set. You know what I'm saying? Because like when yeah. you do another movie that's gonna be with us, if it does not look this good. <laughs> it's going to it's going to everyone's this is now the bar this is now the bar has been set it's like you got to be here and if you're not then you're always going to be short because and that's what he that's essentially what um uh tom cruise always wants out especially out of his uh mission impossible film he's doing all those stunts you know what i mean the ridiculous yes. stunts yes. And he's doing them himself why because it's real right you know it's like you you want that visceral feeling and you can only do it if it's real all this cgness I mean, yes, it looks pretty and all, but in the end, you just know well, that shit's fake. There's nothing yeah. happening there. You know what I mean? No. There's no doubt <laughs> what you're seeing on the screen, uh, and there's some really, really badass moments uh, in, in this yeah. in this movie. And I don't know, man. I um, I really like. I want to watch the uh, original again just 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 to because I 
I feel that they're so just good from watching it right next one to like one week we we watched the, the 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 first one and then like that Saturday we were going you know to the movie and if yeah. it, it, it was like the perfect way to do the sequel because it was so close to come you could you could remember enough to like contrast yeah, and I mean, compare. I, yeah to be fair I I've seen the original so many times you said it many times that you don't need but to. I, I I you know there's these little things that 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 you know you you would want to draw lines to and because it's 30 years bro it's a 30 year gap between yeah. that one and this one and by the way that that like beginning set piece uh again i won't go into detail but that beginning set piece <laughs> was spectacular bro i was yeah. just like yeah. wow <laughs> I was it's, like, I'm, I'm already in. I'm just it's literally in. setting you up for like, okay, well, yes. we know, we know what you wanted, what you came here for. So yes, this yes. is this, that's that's what we're giving to you. Unbelievable, sir. Um, so yeah, it 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 dead for me. I I would I would agree. It's a great movie. It's a four. It's a four out of five. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not. You know, my uncultured eyes are not so uncultured because we agree. <laughs> Well, it is, you know, it, it it knows what it is and it's delivering what it is. Anybody who goes to see the movie, if you're expecting some sort of, you know, freaking uh, cons film thing, then you just fucked up. You know what I mean? Hello. That's cons not what film? we're here for. Yeah. A con- <laughs> well, is it, is it cans? Cons? Whatever the fucking French shit is. Um, oh, oh, cans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. If you're expecting some sort of thing like that, then you, you come to the wrong. <laughs> I didn't. I, honestly, I didn't know. I'll be honest with you. I was expecting what I was expecting was different, very different, and maybe not maybe not in the best way. But something some people were saying this movie is good, so I, was, I wanted to see why is it that people say it's good that they're saying it's good because it's so it's 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 action. It's like the war movie, you know. It's, no, but no, no this movie is good because yeah. it it managed to 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 give you the the. Like the, like I mean, it's it's not a play, but it's it's not fucking um, what Star Wars? Did. What was the first uh of the new of the Disney trilogy? That's um, uh, Force Awakens. Force, it's not fucking Force Awakens where it's a fucking play by play. Although oh, yeah. again, it does play by play, but it's it feels yeah, more homages. It does, it does. And it and it's almost it, it. And again, I don't want to spoil it, but it almost needed that because of the you know the 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 pressure that pete mitchell was under in 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 with everything that was going on so it's it's almost like it it's almost like he was haunted by a possible history repeating itself you know what i mean so because of that it's like well yeah why not ring true the the you know why not bring everything back to really nail home shit things are going to repeat itself you know what i mean and that's what i was thinking uh, to a certain extent, you know what I mean. Because I was like, I also know what kind of movie this is. Let's be real, you know what I mean. And no, so, I, did, I, 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 I did, I did not. And and when I and when I saw it, it that's, that's the part, the that's the part that didn't impress me. The fact that they were able to pull it off because they yeah. very well could have could have not. You know, the uh, that was the only thing that I would, if I had to say, would be a, a fault against it, would be the scenes were all riveting. But there were there weren't any there wasn't anything that occurred that shocked me. There was one thing that could have, but turned out to be not you know not what I was right. expecting. Yeah. But everything else was like okay, well, all right, so this is probably gonna happen, and then oh, okay, this is probably gonna happen. You know, and it's like oh okay, and because of that, I was like okay, but again, you know, it was it, it wasn't it there to shock. Surprises. It still had a few surprises, and I don't mean into you know call, the 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 calls to the uh to nostalgia or anything like that i mean into uh like oh shit <laughs> you know there's more you know yeah 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 like well that. and that's the thing when it, when there was the oh shit there's more it's like that scene also was like okay so now we're getting a little gamey <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm all right. I was, I was all up on. It's okay. Like I said, I mean, it's one of the things. Like, if if I wanted something a a little bit more, and and and, you know, I had no expectations, so maybe that's really what it was. But when it took that route, I just said, "Oh, okay, so that's where we're going. Okay, that's fine." You know what I mean? I didn't, I didn't get it. It wasn't like taking it back. 
But at the same time, I was like, man, you you had an opportunity here to really <laughs> maybe do something just really <laughs> awesome. And I was like, okay, all right. Well, they didn't do it. That's fine. Um, anyway, I'm not gonna go into detail on in it. Um the acting is is you know is good for for everybody who's in there. Jennifer Colony is a mis- mystery to me um, because it is impossible that she still looks that good at fifty years <laughs> old. <laughs> but God bless her <laughs> and whatever she has going on. Now uh, help me understand this because that's the part where I got a little confused. <laughs> oh, this is not the. This was obviously not the the. His love interest in the first movie. I, I guess I should. No, it was not. It was not. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, uh, Kelly McG- McGillis is the, uh, the right. first. Yeah. Right. But Charlie. this one also is not addressed anywhere. Like, my wife asked me, so, where's she coming from? And I'm thinking, like, oh, I think maybe she, maybe this, she was something that happened maybe in the 30 years that we didn't see anything. No, it's actually, it is actually, I mean, apparently, they address that it's happened on and off throughout the throughout the right Mm -hmm. apparently that she so you remember when he was getting grilled in the first one he was getting grilled by the dude with the bald hair you know and he goes especially with something with an admiral's daughter and then the guy goes is that the one with her yeah yeah, oh yeah that's that's who they're talking about she's the admiral's daughter she's the admiral's oh Hell, <laughs> that's a good call too. Then <laughs> it is, but it's one of those things. Like if you don't really know, you're not gonna know. You know, nope, what I, mean? I would yeah, not. Yeah. I, 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 she just appeared out of the blue. Yeah, for me. yeah. It's like, okay. she, she wasn't in it, right? She was just, she was just mentioned in, 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 in the first. She one. was so just mentioned. Yeah. Okay, wow. Um, okay. Yeah. So, so yeah, yeah that's, so that's cool. That, that's that's cool. Well, well, well played. Well and played, I like Mr. Circle. Cruz. Yeah, I like to circle back, you know, with, with you know, with with, with the uh, with the daughter, and and that was a cool moment. And yeah, again, I'm not gonna spoil it. I'm not gonna spoil it. Uh, it's it, although to be fair, even if I did spoil it, there's just no way you're not gonna have fun watching this because it really is the exhilaration of holy shit! You're in these jets, and 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 dude, they were basically doing the fucking Death Star run. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm <laughs> done with that. <laughs> I know. It's like, I yes. like oh my god, this is genius. Why? Why? why is that, that, is that, am I watching episode four? Yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> they're literally doing the, the star run. Yeah, it's like okay, star sure. run. Holy I'm, shit, I'm all right with that. I'll take it. You know? <laughs> so that's that. Okay, we might have discovered the formula. Just say, hey, you want to bring a classic one? Just do the Death Star run. Just do the Death Star run. And you have a you have a winner every time. Exactly. Uh, yeah. yeah. You can't miss. So <laughs> I uh no, I definitely I give it a four. Cool. It's excellent. Um, I really think it was good. And and yeah, I, I honestly can't wait for it to come out. It's probably gonna come out of Paramount for the record because that is a Paramount film. That's a Paramount, yeah. Um, a Paramount and, and credit to Tom Cruise for putting his weight around saying no, this is not coming to streaming, you know what I mean? And and yeah, man. Good, good call. Good call. So 4.0. Um, and 4.0, yeah. The next thing I watched, sir, is the aforementioned Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. <laughs> yes! Oh, you're making me so happy. <laughs> this, is, this is a podcast for me. <laughs> yeah, Jesse. I am the happiest girl alive. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh, dog, my you God. shouldn't have. Yes, yes. Um, <laughs> Holy shit. Oh so, yes. What, was, Strange... was this a two for one? <laughs> or, or did you did No, it's on Disney Plus, bro? Again, which you know, it we're, is we're, already? It's already on Disney Plus, yeah. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> so that's wow. what we saw it last night. Uh, last on night Plus. on Disney Plus. Was... Holy shit. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. That was fast. Yeah, yeah. Um <laughs> So, talk to me, Goose. Overall, <laughs> I, I, this, I was waiting for it. Yeah, I think this movie was okay. <laughs> I, uh, I have well, my you didn't have the you didn't have the movie it. theater experience that Tom sure. Cruise would have wanted sure. you to have, so you disappointed him. You mean, so obviously, you mean better you're than Cumberbatch, for it. but okay. No, uh, but Tom Cruise is the one that I'm looking for. <laughs> <laughs> no movie said three. Okay. Um. So yeah, it 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 was it was okay. So the good stuff 
is I like the creature feature of it. It's obviously they were going for a little bit of more horror, um, which makes sense because apparently I, I didn't even realize this till the end. I was like, oh, shit, this is directed by Sam Raimi. Fuck, how did I not see that in the beginning? <laughs> um, I, I've heard the name, but who should I know this from? Evil Dead. Evil Dead, Evil Dead oh, okay. 2, Army of Darkness. Uh, okay, yes. Yes, 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 yeah. yes. Now, now I'm on. on so, so, yes, I did notice that. Is this a Marvel movie for real? <laughs> Some things that are happening here shouldn't happen it, in a it, Marvel it really, movie. Yeah, it really, and, and that was because of Sam Raimi. And to be fair, I, you know, give credit to Marvel or Sam Raimi. One of the two is like, <laughs> I didn't somebody think they it. would allow him to do those things. You know what yeah, I mean? Yes, somebody Honestly, allowed it. Yeah, and when you look at some of the scenes, it's like, you know, I can almost imagine an R-rated cut of this bad boy. You know oh. what I mean? I can almost imagine an R-rated cut of this. Now, will they ever release it? Probably not. But no, there's somewhere on the cutting room floor <laughs> that has, <laughs> has a dish. I guarantee you. It's in the uh, Disney vault. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It will never come out. Um, oh. Anyway, I liked it. I just, it was, there are just points here where it's like, oh my God, this is the, this is just a CG fest. This is just, this, like this even is, you, at the this is temple, cosmic as fuck. This is and on top of that, super fuck. I mean, there. I mean, yeah. this is like massively cosmic. And the shameful part is like, well, why? Why is this so cosmic? It's Doctor Strange who's a sorcerer, and and mm -hmm. she's a and you know there's a witch who who has mm -hmm. magical powers. What's with all the fucking cosmic shit? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> why is this necessary? Yeah, yeah. Why? What are we doing here? Um. But of course, there's you know there's reasons uh for it. you have to yes, watch there's but, reasons but overall dude there was just at no point that i see any like realistics uh it was i mean well done special effects for the record uh, mm -hmm. a lot of well done special effects yeah they, yeah they, yeah they were all of them they were, were not to the quality of the uh, of the i kind of like a very different vibe from the first uh uh dust strange, strange where everything was uh very What's what's the word for those um uh, those shapes that 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 form that are almost like almost like snowflake line? Oh, the the, like, like the glyphs and shit that they were making. Yeah, n not a lot of that. Like I, at one point, I was like, okay, what is this movie? Because <laughs> yeah. it doesn't feel like a it's it's focusing on Doctor Strange yet. It doesn't have. The mysticism, which is the part that I was expecting from Doctor from Doctor Strange. I mean, whatever. I still liked it more than any of the movies that had come out of this phase uh, by a long shot. But uh, yeah, but yeah, it, 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 but yeah. it didn't have the <laughs> mysticism. What'd you say? I can't agree with that statement, but I I, I, I definitely okay. I, one I definitely, of us needs to be wrong. So. The, I know, I know. It's okay. It's all right, sir. <laughs> right to be wrong. Um, <laughs> It is, it's definitely, it, it's definitely, so it has its good points. First off, yes. I loved what they were doing with Scarlet Witch. <laughs> yeah. like, wow. I was like, okay, finally we get to see the, what is the, uh, uh, um, what she can do. This is what she was able to do in the comic books. And, and it's like, mm. she is an extremely powerful character, you know what I mean? And, yeah. and you can see it. She could have taken you, fucking Thanos by herself. You, you saw it. I was just, I was literally just going to say, it was like, you can see the, 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 the power that she had when she almost eliminated Thanos by, by, uh, by herself. Yeah. And, um, and, and so it's clear for, for the record, this also takes place after uh, WandaVision. Um, mm. And it's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> it really is interesting. It's a question I asked my wife literally uh, today uh as we were eating our dinner and i was like you know honey the one thing that throws me off about the, the the movie is like if if you've only watched the movies and didn't watch any of the shows and the last thing you saw of of scarlet witch or wanda was her at uh, spoilers here for endgame her at tony stark's funeral and 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 
you know, just morning vision. And and then you mm. suddenly see her here. You're like, what the fuck happened to her? <laughs> like, yes. No effing clue. And they did not in any way. I mean, they spoke about it real quick, but that was it. It's like yeah, They mentioned it. They mentioned yeah, it the like incident at whatever is the town. Yeah, you and me were looking at, oh, yeah, I know what she's talking about. She's talking about. If no one knows what the hell happened, in the, if you never saw that show, you have the foggiest clue what the hell happened. <laughs> but after you see the events of what happened in the film, you go, Damn, something must something bad must have fucking happened, right? Uh, so, you would think yeah. it's something. I mean, something bad in the sense that it was presented in the most hilarious way because WandaVision is a hilarious show. It is, you know, it, is, it, is it, it, yeah. it doesn't. Uh, it, it's it's the stark contrast of you know, uh, of of Wanda on 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 the series mm -hmm. versus this. Like oh, Wanda, she, yeah, she is, which again yeah. to say more will be kind of spoilery. It will be, but it will be extremely. I can't spoilery. wait until we're off air so we can talk about freely. <laughs> what was cool is that WandaVision also cool did give hints uh, as to hey, things like this can happen if if you continue this way, right? Um, yes. in, in 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 the show. But anyway, um, that's true. It was not are, just out of the blue nonsense. Yeah, yeah. There are some very odd cameos. Uh, some really cool <laughs> ones, but extremely odd ones, and it's like okay, I okay. I mean, we're you know, it's no secret to say we're in a multiverse, so obviously, you know, that you would expect some weird cameos that. are gonna make their exactly, ex exactly. Yeah. Um, were you spoiled on these cameos? Did no, you ask? Not at all. Not, not at all. You did not expect them. No, I I, I wasn't spoiled on any, so I I wasn't. I was. I mean, I expected something because I was like, we're going to be going through a bunch of uh, right. of multiverses. So I expected, mm -hmm. you know, whatever, but not nothing of what was sh what was shown did I expect. Uh -huh. um, and while some of it was cool, a lot of it was like, oh, and then you can kind of you can kind of see some some tricks of the camera. You just go, hmm, I wonder if they're all actually in the same room. <laughs> <laughs> you know, wow. like, you have that many people wow. and that many whatever it's like mm, it's you like know, filming that. schedules are like really you know <laughs> that's that's a real thing but wow. anyway yeah oh, i'm man. sorry that's, i'm sorry to say I mean, if you, know, you can watch it and you saw it. i mean that's not a bad thing it, i'm not saying that's a bad thing i'm just saying it's, it's one of those things that then when i see it i just go oh okay i guess that's probably what's <laughs> happening there, right um Anyway, that's beside the point. The the point is, it's cool. I think Wanda was stole the show. Uh, I think Doctor yeah. Strange was really good uh, into what he was doing. Um, there was a there was some parts which I'll leave, but I was like, damn, that's so Sam Raimi. And I was like, okay, yep, that's definitely <laughs> yeah, something. Yeah, there was there, there was freaking do you know what I mean? Scenes that yeah, was yeah. like. Whoa! Yeah, I did like, not expect this. Yeah, <laughs> you know? and, like, and, and, and you that's can... cool. That's yeah, I, I, is, I respect that. Um, but overall, yes. I didn't really care for the character they were trying to protect. Um, yeah, even though I should, either. because I was just like, you know, this is a Latino character. I mean, I should be proud to have at least one of us out there present yeah. representing. You know, but I was mm -hmm. like, I don't feel like they did a lot with her, so I felt like uh, mm -hmm. it was kind of a little bit wasted. Um, I mean, it was technically about her, but yeah, but it, you would never guess like, what was going on. Yeah, very exactly. under, yeah, very underutilized. Exactly, exactly, and right. um, and right, so buddy. overall, I mean, I'd have to give this one. I would probably give this one to three. It was good. I did enjoy my time with yeah. it. I, you know what? No, I'd give it a three. Uh, and and so I was like, hey, I still, I hey. <laughs> Yeah, because it's definitely not mediocre. You're, you're it's definitely not mediocre. Right. I still had some fun with it. Um, special effects were good. I mean, even though it's all special effects, mm. uh, you know, some creature feature moments, which was Sam, you know, you Sam Raimi's fucking, you know, bread and butter. And uh, and so I definitely I definitely uh, enjoyed my time with it. Um, I don't think it's the best of this phase but then again what do you think is the best of this phase see. this phase has oh, been weak. the uh well you didn't like no way home so that's probably why and and don't get me wrong oh, don't spider-man why okay don't, okay don't get me wrong not like no way home was a 5.0 or some shit it's just this <laughs> phase has just been struggling <laughs> you know what i mean so <laughs> uh, you know it's like 
uh, you know. All right, well, would you put this? Would because uh, that's understandable. You know, obviously you have an attachment to the old Spider-Man uh, movies and all that. But would you say? Would you put this one next, or would you put like what would you put next? Shang Chi, the Eternal. The, no, the... Shang Chi. Hmm. I'd say this and Shang Chi kind of sit next to each other because again, Shang Chi <laughs> was good. And it had some some good spe- uh, mm-hmm. special, not special effects, fucking uh, you know martial arts fighting, everything like That's that. Wrong, yeah. but then the end was just fucking CG, <laughs> fucking orgy fest, and it's like, oh my god, what? Can we do anything what is, real anymore? What else is it gonna be like? At some point, we can't just blame the movie. I mean, we can blame the movie. I'm gonna need you to watch. CGs, but if they're good CGs, then. I need you to watch everything everywhere all at once and then come back to me to tell me, hey, what can we do differently in these fucking films, please, to make it feel a little better? Uh, Anyway, (laughs) anyway, uh, yes, 3.0 for uh, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, also known as DS uh, It's Mom. (laughs) It's Mom? Yeah, that's the, that's the acronym. Anyway, um, so that's the things I've been watching. Um, I have um, a couple things that I, w- I was going to bring up in gaming. I won't stay too long on them, uh, but uh, I do want to say that like my wife and I. Gaming. Yeah, that's right. Uh, do want to say that my wife and I finished It Takes Two, and yeah, did it really I, take two to finish? It, oh, dude, there was just no way. Okay, there's, <laughs> there's just absolutely no way. The yeah. first one wasn't there. Miss Bad Dog showed it. Yeah, she showed it. And let me tell you, towards the end, we were Uh, we were moving along fairly well towards the end, uh, considering the uh, difficulties at the beginning. Um, and and that particular maybe that was the whole message of the game. At the end, it's like you guys are synchronized, dude. This is this has to be easily the best old game for me because obviously this did not come out this year but i don't see any old game <laughs> reaching the, the heights of this and i cannot express this more this game is so fucking special bro uh, it is heartfelt it is fun it is innovative it has so many different things you can you end up doing throughout the game it fucking looks like a freaking pixar film it fucking runs at 60 frames. It's just like, I don't know how the hell this, the Hayes Light Studio has my money for the next game. I don't even know what it is. I don't even care. It's just, <laughs> they're going to have it, you know? Like, I, don't I don't know, know how the, the hell, I, this game should have been game of the year. It, <laughs> it should have been. Um, it was game awards, game of the year, but we all know that's like the MTV awards. It's not like it's the Oscars anyway. Oh, so, come on. That uh, is, the, well, fuck the Oscars, dude. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> um no i I really i really can't say anything uh better about this about this film you hear me about this game um you you just gotta play it play it within someone you you, one person buys it you get a friend fucking code and the only way i can make this special is if i play it with my wife if not i can't i i I can't it's not gonna feel the same i i I agree sir and 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 i count my 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 my, uh my blessings that you know that she that she was that she's in, you know she was even into and then stuck through it because again there were some frustrating moments for her and I know it um, uh-huh. but it's just all I can do is just like you know just be like we're gonna get this we're gonna get this and and when we do it's just it do it's like it's like fucking you know any FromSoft game for her you know what I mean it, yeah. really in comparison right yeah. it's like I get it it's like this is this mountain is the mountain that that we had to do with dark, all the Dark Souls games and everything else but the, as simple. I don't want to say simplistic because it, there are some challenging moments in this, but as different as this is, it's her Dark Souls. And when we made it, we made it. We high five. We were running around. You know, it's just like hell yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and uh, and yeah, man, it's just it's just such a fucking special game. And I'm not gonna uh, talk uh, more about it because I've already. It, it's it's oh, uh, a rating is gonna get a five. Easy, a five. Easy. That's a five out. That's five out of ten right there. I don't know how. If this isn't a five out of five, out of five I don't know what what yeah. else is. Yeah, it, it is ridiculous. Um, man, such a fucking good game. From there, I've just been dabbling in a couple of games. Uh, I started. Let Death- me guess. You play Horizon Zero. Dawn? 
I mean, Journey to the West. Nope. Ah! <laughs> Forbidden West. <laughs> Journey to the West it is. No, no, no. Um, you know how I do it. When I do a big game that takes me a while, I got to have to go back to the smaller games to fill in some gaps. And uh, Death's Gambit, after the Afterlife, which is the uh, um, the uh, oh, special edition, um, it is basically like a 2D action platformer, very Metrovania, um, has soul like uh, souls like elements uh, to it. Um, I kind of dig it. It's actually pretty fun. Um, it's not very challenging, at least not yet. Even though I put in mm. three, four hours, I think we're already like level fucking eleven or twelve, and I'm like, I don't think I died yet. <laughs> You know, so I'm like, this is a well, exactly that's gambit, you, know? you know, you're not, you're not I, I, gambling with something here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but it, it is, it's still a lot of fun. Um, you start off with select instead of you very similarly, you start off by selecting uh, the type of player, uh, warrior you want, uh, which could be someone with a scythe or someone with a sword or a magic wielder or any of that stuff. Uh, and then you obviously pick your starting item, same way you would do in a fucking Souls game. So these are the similarities. You have your safe points that give you all your energy back, but then also respawn enemies. Um, the difference is, at least from what I've seen so far, is the difficulties is mostly that um, the boss fights are not really that. You know what? I take it back. I did die the first time before the uh, the very first time before one of the bosses. Uh, mm. But then the second boss, I didn't I didn't die at all. And I was like, okay. I was like, all right. So, you know. Um, anyway, it's pretty cool. Uh, we'll continue playing it um, and let you guys know. I'm playing the, again, the Afterlife, which is like a, has upgrades and stuff like that to it. Oh, uh, that's right. That's right. Because that game was. Uh, yeah, it was released a while back. And then it got like a. like a Not remade, but yeah. Yeah, like a special yeah, like edition. Like an upgrade, yeah. 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 Uh, and then the other weird ass fucking game that I've been playing is this wonderful little title called narita boy the <laughs> hell is that it's exactly how the game tells you the title is narita boy <laughs> oh. two two things two things um this is a very strange game uh imagine <laughs> tron if you will right someone who uh, uh-huh. those have any, some game creator uh is making a, a computer programmer or something like that and he made this world and then suddenly something happened to him and the computer sort of reaches out to the ether of somebody else maybe playing the game and and calls this one person in to fill the role of the hero narita boy and he needs to bring back the creator and it's very like it's 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 a first of all it's a pixel a pixel art game which is a gorgeous pixel art game by the way but it's also very futuristic very again tron like i'm i'm playing it in the crtv mode so it has that that warped oh. look to it. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, <laughs> pixels yeah, and it's just pixels. like, oh, oh, this is so fucking cool. Um, it is obviously a flashback to the 80s. Um, it's also kind of its own little Metroidvania, though. Yeah, I would say Metroidvania. I, I, I would Metroidvania? Give no, 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 you're sporking my language. Yeah, it, 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 it pays homage to things like, uh, you know, The Last Starfighter. Actually, that's pretty much, if you really think of the intro, yeah. that's, uh, that's kind of the, the same thing. And it's really cool. Um, I don't really have much to say about it because it's so fucking odd. It's it's to say anything, you just it's gonna sound like gibberish. You know, it's just like you know what the fuck is going on. Um, <laughs> so I will definitely um definitely recommend this one for anybody who's into that type of uh that type of game. And uh anyway, that ladies and gentlemen, Border Fiend <laughs> is all <laughs> that we have been doing. <laughs> Woo! behind me come on 
sir, it's the internet. We just need to live a habit. According to the bars that are looking at the thing, I was in front. I'm just saying. I'm still <laughs> yeah, wow, that's kind of messed up. Dude. <laughs> well, you are the one recording this, so you have the home field advantage. There you go. So the yeah. next, so what we're saying is, I'm gonna need you to catch up, sir. I'm gonna need you to catch up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. uh, I don't know. I already finished the podcast, so I don't know why you're talking. <laughs> I've been trying to sign out for the last half hour. Yeah, I know. Um, yeah. Anyway, our trailer of the week, guys, is a little title coming out called Smile. Yes, we picked the same one. Awesome. All right. Yes. Uh, well, I mean, the other one was, let's be real. The other one was really more about get hype. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, I mean, uh, yeah. all the trailers are about getting hype. True. But, uh, I mean, that is true. You're absolutely That right. is their job. Uh, but, uh Let's just say that we were we didn't need a trailer to get hype about that about that one, and that one, of course, is the, the Stranger Things finale, which I might as well not have watched. Although I mean, I feel like it was alright. It didn't it didn't it didn't show it didn't show yeah, too much. It didn't do, it didn't show too much, yeah. and uh, but it did get me you know it did get me excited for it, and it's basically a week it, away. So it's a reminder, exactly. It's a reminder. It's only a week away, dude. Are you excited about that? Who I cares? Because we're about talking that. about. By the smile. way, week away is podcast day again. So, um, sure so this. Saturday is gonna be. The <laughs> well, Saturday we need to talk about. <laughs> so, okay, something has to give. <laughs> well, fuck, we we will miss work, both of us. Yeah, I guess awesome. so. Make it happen. Make it happen. <laughs> Make it happen. Oh man. Um. Anyway, our uh, again our trailer of the week. Uh, guys is title called smile uh and this is a movie directed by parker finn and from what we know is after essentially witnessing a bizarre traumatic incident involving a patient dr rose carter this is i'm I'm reading from imdb for the record starts experiencing frightening occurrences that she can't explain rose must confront her troubling past in order to survive and escape her horrifying new reality uh strange doesn't quite cover it sir what do you think uh, i was gonna ask you uh, uh, first of all I, w- I wanted to ask you like do we know this director and his is his pedigree is his work pedigree. something <laughs> or is this something we should be searching for um because if his work was hereditary for example then nope i'm skipping this one because i don't want to <laughs> see anything like hereditary so no it is not uh okay. he is a fairly new director so that can be good or and or bad um he's only oh. directed actually technically this is his first uh feature length film he's only directed shorts uh lauren okay. hasn't sleep from 2020 and the hide behind from 2018 i've not seen or even heard of any of these so no. really a relatively unknown Relatively unknown. Okay, okay. okay. Again, it could be great because I've seen uh, some films come in from some folks, and it's their especially horror, horror films, mm-hmm. and they're excellent right out of the gate. That Baba Duke comes to mind. Um, that mm-hmm. was a female director, and she she, she uh, Australian, I think, on top of uh, Australian director, and dude, that that movie was freaky. I was like, and that was her, her first film. So, oh, wow. okay, respect. It can be it can be done. Um, so. That's all. That's all I have on Parker Finn. Um, but okay. uh, for, anyway, for, for, from what from for, what you saw, uh, right? So I just want to say, for, for all the for all purposes, I don't, when I say I don't want to watch something like Hereditary again, it's not because that movie was bad. Because that movie was great. Oh my god, it, it was, was just great. too fucking scary. It was just traumatizing. Yeah, it's, it it's traumatizing. one of those things. Like it overdid its mastery of of yes. what it was trying to do. You know, I actually yes. started watching like there was this a. <laughs> I do watch a lot of movie uh, analysis and stuff like that, and occasionally, uh-huh. usually on movies I've seen. Obviously, I, I, I stay away from anything I haven't seen. Put an analysis on it. I just want to get somebody else's read and see where they're thinking, what they're seeing. You know, uh, most of the time it's like, okay, we're all kind of on the same page. But occasionally I find something new, which is why I'm like, oh, man, I didn't think of that. I didn't read it that way. That's an interesting uh, mm-hmm. way of looking at it. And I stumbled upon one that was about hereditary. And I was like, <laughs> I'm not sure, oh, I'm okay. not sure I want to deal with it. Yeah, I was like, I, I kind of want to know, but do I really? <laughs> so I say, fuck it. And I just hit, and I hit play and I watch it and I realize, okay, it's, it's showing, you know, certain scenes. 
uh, mm. and 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 he's going into detail and, and stuff like that. And it, for the record, the analysis was really fascinating. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, I also realized, okay, now that I kind of already know the scenes, and it didn't affect me that 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 much. But I, I no. that is a testament to that movie that I, I give me pause <laughs> just to watch an analysis on. It. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you know. Uh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it, it, uh, I I. I, I brought I brought that particular movie on 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 purpose was because uh, I like I'm not a, a big fan of of horror of horror films and for the most part it's because I found well I I horror has an effect on me <laughs> but <laughs> for the most part uh, a lot of the quote unquote horror movies just end up being like just silly slasher slash uh, uh, uh slasher gore flicks. fest that are like unnecessary like okay this is not like this is scary for different more disgusting reasons rather than oh this is fucking up with your mind mm -hmm. you know you know i like a good <laughs> I, i like a good mind <laughs> <fuck>. <laughs> uh, I hear you. I hear and, you. Uh, and and i like the intelligent ones the ones where It's not about just presenting you a lot of disturbing images for just for the sake of, you know, jump scares or whatnot. It's just like I fucking hate jump scares. That that's cheap. I I don't like that. Just m make me feel unnerving, like something is like on edge, like something is fucked up, and like like those are the ones that I enjoyed the most. And watching this trailer, like I didn't know what to expect because first you don't you don't get that. You get the vibe that there is a an interesting mystery, mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, the mystery is kind of silly, almost literal. Because you know, for some reason, you see people smiling frequent freakishly, yeah. But but still, like okay, so that's the mystery thing. The fact that they're smiling, it's like, I know. It, it, like I said, it, I it, 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 the trailer does sell the mystery. But yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. There's concern that this could be, you know, maybe not hereditary, but you know, something good and meaningful. Not meaningful. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Something something that could be really fun. As far as a horror movie, yeah, it could be, it, and it could yeah, also it could be, be the happening, and and that's also worrisome. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Because no one wants that, you know. No one wants that. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, the other day you watched the one that you had me curious, which was Candyman. I was like, oh, okay. oh Candyman yeah, is great, dude. Yeah, great. yeah, yeah. You need to watch that. Did you, you said you yeah. never watched the original? No. And I'm not gonna say you need to see the original because technically you do not. I watched the original after it again. And first oh. off, realize it was a thing of its time. <laughs> you know, well, you know I yeah, yeah. It's 1992. I mean, yeah, it's a long time ago. Yeah, it's yeah, 30 years ago. You know, so, um, God, 1992 is 30 years ago. Anyway, um, so you don't really need to see it, but I do recommend you see Candyman. And Candyman right now is is on Prime. So, yeah, I mean, it's only an hour and a half. Yeah, Literally, yeah, an hour and a half. It's there. Yeah. It's not, it's really more creepy than it is anything else, which is what makes it awesome. That's what I like. Yeah, yeah that that that's that's the style of that's the style of uh I guess horror, horror? It, mm. is that qualified as horror? Is that absolutely is that, I don't yeah, know what that's to call horror. it. There are people getting killed, sir. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah that's In horrific hard. ways. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so this trailer, uh, smile, I mean, it, again, it looks like it could be something special. I feel like that last moment in the trailer has that potential, like it's almost that stamp to say, Hey, don't be fooled by what you didn't see in the, the trailer. Mm. This is more what we're looking at, but we don't want to give it all away because it is just a fucking trailer. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. And that's right. my hope, right? Cause I love. I love when films give you enough and then you get there and you just go, wow, it didn't really ruin anything. It's, this is awesome experience. Nothing can be worse than watching a trailer and then watching a the movie. You go, wow. I, I, so I basically saw everything when I saw that, that trailer. Yeah. You know I mean? Yeah. That would be, that's yeah, the that's worst experience. Yeah. Disappointing. So I almost feel like that last stamp was on purpose because it was very unexpected. And yes. I haven't like, 
gotten the, the, you know this little bump or jump when you know watching a trailer in a very long time i was like oh okay <laughs> that was really i didn't see that coming you know what i mean um so <laughs> first off are you guys re- re- recommend you guys watching the smile trailer because uh, if anything that's you know gonna leave you a little interested in it but yeah it's, it's not a lot but it yeah. is going to be it, it's going to be interesting like you're gonna be yeah which is a good hook you know exactly exactly i agree 100 percent um all right guys with that it is now time to go into our hot topic of the week hot topic not a lot of news or any at all Mm. the only news i major news item is of course nintendo had a direct but it was all about their upcoming uh game which which the name literally slips by me hold on let me look at oh, this three because, uh yeah. kingdoms no uh, three no. houses or no 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 three it's, fucks it's, given it's actually <laughs> the game you actually have this game on your you i don't know i don't think you drafted this game but you definitely picked it up at some point uh, I must have. if it was a nintendo first party i probably well actually let me see no. nintendo... i mean it'll make sense to grab it Nintendo Direct, it, it would because that's that's a safe bet, basically. That's yeah, Xenoblade Xenoblade Chronicles 3. That's just happened Xenoblade. on Thursday, yes. Uh, and it was like a 20 something minute thing, and it was all about that. So, um, uh, I didn't watch it Ooh. because I'm not interested in Xenoblade Chronicles. Um, but <laughs> you have that coming <laughs> for the record. <laughs> um, that's one of the so anyway. The, the hot topic again, guys, is the first party to look at the first parties. Um, and what I mean by that is games coming from first party, starting with Nintendo. What is Nintendo of America or Nintendo Japan or whatever Nintendo is making out there? Uh, what do they have coming from their first parties? Uh, <laughs> what does Xbox have coming from their first parties? And what does PlayStation have coming from their first parties? And really just kind of look back and go, okay, what what do we have? What's what's on the table? Who Who looks like is going to be strongest in the next, let's say, 12 to 18 months? Uh, and who looks like they're floundering or just sitting back saying, fuck it, we don't need to do anything. <laughs> you know? Uh, and so <laughs> we're looking at their body do it for us. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Sony. Oh, anyway. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what's the, what's the source? Did you ever send me the source? You know, I never did. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I mean, uh, oh, that'd, that'd, be, that'd be more uh, authentic then because I have no fucking idea. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can run through them. It, it, it may be actually, you know what? It may actually be more fun this way. I could just say, so here, this is what's happening here. What do you think? Oh, all right. right. All right. And, okay. then, and then we'll jump on it. Okay. We jump on it. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, all right. Man. Uh, for Nintendo, I don't have much other than the fact that Xenoblade Chronicles 3 um, is coming <laughs> um the end of this year it's kind of dry super i mean so we had let's see they had pokemon legends arceus right that was the the big pokemon of the right. year that was yeah. january bro january yes. january um what else uh they've had oh kirby kirby and the forgotten land which was actually re- well received are you into that game are you any interest Kirby? In that? Kirby? No, in the, 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 I mean, I I I respect it for the good games that they are, mm-hmm. but I don't. Uh, that, those are not the type of games that I play. <laughs> so. Yeah, me either. Um, so let me see what else. I, oh, Splatoon three, which that okay. So that's one. We'll, we'll, we'll throw that one out there because that one we still don't have. We don't have a release date on that. Splatoon t- uh, three made a splash at the most recent Nintendo Direct before. Uh, this particular one. Um, any interest in it? Did you play any of these platoons? Uh, no, I've seen I, I've seen it, and again, well, another one of those games where you know, mad respects for for what they are. I know they're fun. It's just those are the, the platoon games are multiplayer games for the they most are. part. You, this is not the type of game that you play single player, or I don't, I don't think that's where this, this strength lies. Although so, that said, yeah. there is a single player story mission called titled Return of the Mammalians. That's a good that's Mammalians. a good name. Well, um, right. that is going to be Mammalians. included in Splatoon 3. Um uh, but you know that's th- that would be the first title that has a, ha- has that as far as I know. See, and uh, and and it almost feels almost 
throwaway, you know. So I I I don't know that uh, if I have friends that will play it, sure. But even then, I would question is staying power because it's competitive, and I just don't do competitive. Not because it's not fun. It's just mm. we don't. Do oh, so staying power with you, not staying power in general. Oh, so yeah. Sorry. Yes. Oh, okay. Same power. Same power. We. I mean, you don't hear a lot of people talking about Splatoon, though. True, but that's because they're all in the Nintendo camp, and we really don't have. Where's Seth? I miss Seth. Seth yes. is obviously knee deep into the Nintendo camp, um, and so, but you know, we don't really have somebody uh, like that within our within our direct circle. Um, I think the only one that mm. outside of you and me that have a, a Switch is is uh mrs chaos you know what i mean and mrs reaper you know and so yes. and i don't see her using it much <laughs> so, <laughs> so that kind of says it all um but yeah I, I agree this is it's still to be announced they have not it's set for 2022 it has not been officially delayed or there hasn't even been a uh, word of a delay but it is still set to come out this year so we will see we will we see. Will see. Be better because oh no, wait, I don't have it on my list. Oh, who cares? Oh. <laughs> well, this one you may have on your list. Uh also set to come out in 2022. No set date, but we haven't heard anything about it since its debut back in 2017. Yes, Ooh. 2017. We are now officially five years past that. And that, of Ooh. course, is Bayonetta 3. Ah, <laughs> yeah, no, that's never happening. <laughs> Also, it's dead. It's dead in the water. I no, no, no. They say oh. they were working on, uh, they were working on it and, and whatnot. But who cares at this point? Oh, you do, sir. I mean, you can't speak more highly of that fucking game. I can't say that I do anymore because, first of all, they transformed it into something that I, I was like the second. The first one is still one of my favorite games. Second one was kind of weird and it's kind of toned down and it, it's like Nintendo fight and it was still okay, but not it was not the it, it was not the Bayonetta games that I, that that I love, and the third one is taking so long that I feel like that game's stuck in development hell. So mm-hmm. the, there's got to be some problems because five years, bro, since Bayonetta came out. Five years. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I, since it's been announced. Yeah, it was. Uh, and then I think they brought it up in a more recent uh, direct. But yeah, it was announced back in 2017. Mm-hmm. And it's obvious that when it was announced, it was there wasn't even a fucking polygon, uh, you know, done for it yet at that point. Uh, mm-hmm. Because I was on 2017. That's a while. And I'm sure, yes, we don't want to talk about COVID and that probably delayed stuff. But shit's still coming out guys we haven't had anything from this but um yeah i'm sad to hear that sir for the record i'm sad to hear i, feel, I thought you would be a little more uh but i hear you it, it's been five years and hmm. yeah uh and of course their last one that we have that we know of and that of course is the legend of zelda breath of the wild 2 which we know now has been delayed to 2023 yes. um i don't know i mean i haven't played the first breath of the wild and every time i even think about it. I remember your complaints of it, and I go, "Yeah, I probably don't want to go through that." So, or web weapon breaking is uh, sorry, but I weapon breaking m- makes this game unnecessarily tedious. It, 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 it's a it, it's a shame because it's one of those classics that you think they address it in classics. this one, huh? You think they address it in this one? I think they heard and go the okay we were better, because Gen- i mean genshin Imp- <laughs> we're living a post genshin impact <laughs> genshin impact has shown that that formula of breath of the wild can be done uh and, and improve upon <laughs> on a freaking free-to-play game yeah. <laughs> so who, yeah. who, who, who would have uh, uh i mean i still think this is a special game just because of everything else and the fact that it's a Zelda game and the fact that it has you know uh, some it's like you can make your fun on that, you know, on, on that game. Not to say that it's a sandbox, but it is something. It is something special. It is just too bad that they felt the need to make the weapon so stupidly fragile 
um, I mean, that you're one thing and, and they be, felt yeah. they they needed to do they wanted they forced they forced it because they wanted you to oh experiment with new weapons but that's not the way you do it and you don't force people to to do the thing you want to that you want us to do if if if, if it ends up making the experience like uh, you know annoying because that means the battles is the the battle system is crap. And and yeah, granted, at one point you get the master sword. Well, the master sword is not infallible either. So anyway, it's not infallible. Oh, oh I mean, it, it doesn't break, really? it doesn't destroy itself. Oh. But you, I think like you need to recharge or something Re-sharp, like that. Recharge like, it like, or yeah. some shit. Oh, for the love. Charge or something. I don't know. Uh, in in any case, I I don't you believe this game will address it. You do? No, I don't. Oh, I, you don't I, think they'll address that? No, because Nintendo's hard headed like that. Oh. Nintendo, what would Nintendo do? Dear Lord, okay. <laughs> this is, yeah, they're not gonna well, sir, have... that's all I got for Nintendo, believe it or not, because there ain't much <laughs> going on for them, and they're very quiet. And let's be real, they, you know, they they don't make like a bajillion games. They don't have that many studios. But um, Switch Pro, that has been a rumor for a little bit, and and it keeps keeps stirring. Um, how are you with the Switch Pro? If they actually come out and announce, hey. Switch Pro plays the games even better, <laughs> but still, you know, maybe not as good as. Isn't that out Xbox. already? Don't don't we no, have that's the, the OLED. OLED? That's the OLED. Oh, okay. No, the, Switch the Pro OLED. is Switch Pro. Like there were, so there was rumors of a Switch Pro, mm-hmm. and I, I think uh, Tom from Moore's Law is the first person who, who started saying that shit. It's like, oh no, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, they're doing it, they're doing it, they're doing it, and then of course we get here and then we have the OLED. It's like, well, it's not really a problem. It's just, it's it's just a really, different screen. Yeah. It's a big, it's just a better screen. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> uh, but the rumor set, uh, kept continuing after that and they kept continuing. It's like, no, I'm telling you they're making it. So it's possible. Obviously it has been announced. Nintendo's super secretive about it. Um, personally for someone who has a switch that literally just sits there and catches dust, I have zero interest in it because shame, what am I going to yeah. fucking do? Um, that's, that's that's the shame. It will have to be like, okay, you announce the Switch Pro, you're gonna have to start announcing the next big heavy hitters and your development cycle. Like, like I don't want anything annualized, but I also don't want a a, a fucking uh super super long development cycle where you you don't know what's coming what's coming next because something gets announced and then in five years you still don't have it um and at the at the the end of the day other companies are making fantastic games and not taking that fucking long to you know to to really to release them uh where is prime (laughs) for nintendo like um Mm -hmm. you announced the 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 switch pro and what am i gonna play in it Mario Odyssey again. Mario Odyssey is a fantastic game. I played it already. Yeah, I played it. Already, yeah, um, and I'm not collecting all those fucking things. The the fucking yeah, the, the, the moons. Yeah. Uh, the, the you gave me the Metroid experience already. I haven't even bothered to pick up that. You know that. that. <laughs> I know me either, bro. It's it's Metroid. literally the biggest blind spot in my entire thing. It's like why don't I grab that? And, and of course, <laughs> one of the main reasons is. It's always gonna be fucking sixty dollars. <laughs> so yeah. it's like it's another thing, oh, Nintendo. Man. Like economies change, you know. It, it you don't shit gold anymore. <laughs> it does. So it's at this point. I mean, don't time me wrong, to price they, your games accordingly. They hit gold, I think, with the Wii, uh, definitely, and then with the Switch, definitely as well. The Switch still sells, you know, gangbusters, and and don't oh, get yeah. me wrong, you it, have it, a lot like, of the fucking, Switch is a great system. Yeah, and you have a lot of uh, attachment rate when it comes to games like Animal Crossing and fucking Pokemon, but none of that shit speaks to me. Um, and mm-hmm. so, yeah, I agree. I, I I don't know where they're at, and you're right. I, that, that's not even on this list right here. Metroid Prime 4, because you know what it is? They showed off a title, bro. That's all they had at the time. <laughs> Yo, I pre-ordered... Let's, what is it? I pre-ordered uh, Prime 4, when Amazon was still giving you twenty dollars for pre-ordering games, <laughs> and because of that, you don't want to let it go, right? <laughs> and I don't want to let go because I—I I mean, that's—that's that's the only special price that I have. Yeah, yeah. 
but yeah, uh, they don't do it anymore. Yeah, they don't do it anymore. No, I mean the ages. Um, so. Well, guys, that's I mean that's what we have for Nintendo. Uh, not a lot going on. Oh, by the way, yes, uh, as I mentioned, the Xeno uh, Xeno Gears uh, game, which I don't really have a lot of interest in, but that is one of their other games that are coming out as well. So let's go ahead and move over into the oh Xbox Game Studio uh, camp. And we're going to go ahead and start with, there's a lot of studios here for the record. So we're going to just kind of flow through. And obviously we don't have an answer for anybody, anything that anybody's working on. Um, we'll, we'll just kind of move off from there. But we're going to start with 343 Industries. Uh, mm. Of course, what are they working on? Well, they're currently working on the you know, live service game called Halo Infinite. And they're probably not going anywhere, anywhere else anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> so three for three, three for three is the Halo machine and nothing else. And, nothing and that else. is so depressing. <laughs> That's gotta be so depressing for uh for a studio where uh oh we you know we thought that we we have this great idea for this type of game, it's never been done before. It's like nope, nope, you're gonna be you're gonna do Halo. And when you finish Halo, you're gonna work on Halo. And then maybe <laughs> we'll clue you in on the next project, on the next Halo project. <laughs> Yeah. Um yeah, they're just going to be doing that for a while. And and to be fair, my understanding is they haven't even really like so Halo Infinite has essentially 1.0, right? I mean, but was there's I feel like there's something missing. The multiplayer's there, mm. campaigns there. Yeah. yeah maybe yeah. I'm just okay. So maybe Yeah, I'm, yeah, they're, they're, yeah, both everything it's, is, is, can't is be, the thing with the with the multiplayer is that the 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 people that the people that they that they should be retaining uh, are the ones that have already reached, uh, you know, caps and 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 like limits, or they have gotten everything. Like, there's not enough content, you know, to 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 continue on it. Uh, to a person like me, I still have a fucking lot of it because I don't and I don't play the multiplayer of, often or now even less actually. Hmm. Um, and but. But the, the the people that does the multiplayer, uh, you know, a lot, it's like they peak. It's like, okay, what else is it's happening? Uh, and on top of that, for the people that does the single player campaigns uh, exclusively, well, you st- it's Halo was released how many months ago already, and you still haven't released the the co op patch. Co op being a a staple of of the Halo games, you you play halo with your friend and that's the thing and a lot of people are waiting for that but it hasn't happened you know it, it's it not done it, it, they're still working on it and it's it's, it's scheduled it's supposedly it's scheduled for release uh next month but it's still not it's still not out so not out. Uh, also i that's not what i want you know uh, uh from halo I, at, at this point i will want uh a, a campaign expansion something you know some some you know, something for me to get excited aside from the multiplayer because let's face it i every time a halo a new halo game gets released i i jump into the multiplayer for the first couple of weeks maybe and then never again mm. yeah then 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 i fall down and and the halo infinite uh thing uh multiplayer is excellent you know it it it, it is really good it's engaging it's just that there's not enough of it not enough content so, yeah, enough content. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, there's not enough content uh, of it, and like people have done everything already, and, and, and you know, I see. And say, attention say what spans you will. are small. <laughs> and what? Attention spans are small. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's you hilarious. know, say what you will about you know uh, Destiny, but people have stuff to there's work a lot of on. Content there. Yep. There's a lot of things that people could do on on those games. So. Yeah, so much yeah, so that they uh, started cutting, you know, content from from that. Yeah, because it got too much. Yeah. Uh, the next uh, particular developer is actually was acquired. Well, it's part of Bethesda and got acquired. It's Alpha Dog Games. I'm not going to say too much along them. Uh, they, they are pre- pre- predominantly a mob- uh, mobile focused developer. Uh, hmm. iOS games such as Wraithborn and Monster City Rampage don't really care for mobile games so i'm not going to stand on that we'll move on to the next studio and that of course is arcane studios uh recently released death loop known for dishonored and working on 
Redfall, uh, which is now moved to 2023. Not too, not too not too high on redfall i just don't know what it is mm. <laughs> you know what i mean i i can't i kind of do and it, it's not something that's like it's not something that's calling co-op my attention shooter. yeah co-op, it's shooter. co-op shooter it's supposed to be multiplayer so but allegedly you can single player the thing but i don't know i always feel like when you when the focus on your game is multiplayer and then you say oh it also but you can play a single player i was Feel like yeah, but that was not that was never your intention, and 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 the content for a single for a single player, uh, it's got experience is gonna be lacking, you know, agreed. or yeah. agreed, uh, or you're and, gonna and their last game didn't really, like really, you know, didn't really do much. Like I think I think Dishonored and Dishonored Two, particularly Dishonored Two, are the highlights of what Arcane has done since yeah. then. Including Deathloop, and and I feel I'm not gonna lie, I feel a little cheated getting Deathloop because I was like, Ooh. everybody's giving these shit tens. I'm like, oh, I need to see what this is, you know. <laughs> FOMO is like real people, and and they fucking <laughs> caught me. And then not to say it was a bad game for the record, it's not a bad game. No, no. but it's not. I, 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 I find I mean? myself thinking of of that game quite more than I anticipated after finishing it. It's like. You know, it's really? probably okay. not an experience that I necessarily need to go again, but mm-hmm. well, you know, go back to. But there was, there, you know, there, there, it, there, there was something. There, there was, there was definitely, there was definitely something. And surprising, no word on Xbox version of that game. I would have thought by now this game would have been announced that you know that the time exclusivity. Was gonna be yeah, over. It was supposed to be a year, and when did it come out? It came out fall of last year. So yeah, I mean, there's still time. There may no, there may no, be but I would have contract. Yeah, true, but I would have expected for something to be announced, maybe, or maybe that's the thing. Maybe, maybe they can't talk about it yeah, until there's be something. something in the contract that you you have until this date. Probably that's that's return. probably what. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. I, I, honestly, I was expecting them to start talking about it, and uh, and of course, saying the extra things that they were gonna, you know. That, that they were gonna have to add to justify. To justify, yeah, yeah, I agree. Uh, the next studio is, of course, Bethesda Game Studios, which we have already seen. Of course, they're known for Fallout's, uh, Elder Scrim, Sky, uh, Elder Scrolls, Skyrim. Excuse me. Um, we know that they are obviously working on Starfield, which we saw coming out in 2023, and I guess eventually Elder Scrolls Six, which they announced for whatever reason a long time ago. <laughs> um, and yeah. You know, I saw some of the more of the gameplay again uh, recently for Starfield, and I think you're right, sir. I think you're right. Temper your expectations on this game. <laughs> I think you're right. It, so it I rewatched looks- it again. I only watched it that first time, and then we came to whatever, and I watched it. I said, all right, let me watch it again, because apparently he saw something. And then when you really just look at it, and you just go, yeah, this, this is, is Fallout 5. Fall out in this fucking, it. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, it really <laughs> is. But people get taken back. You know what I mean? Fucking... You know Todd Howard. I don't know that he does, but he has a way of just Howard. anyway. I yes, know. I don't know. It, sometimes. You start looking at, at at the you know at the at the movement at, at the shooting and everything else, and you realize that oh wait a minute, this is the game that we've been playing ever since Morrowind. Yeah. <laughs> the Elder Scrolls Morrowind. Yeah, it's just more. It's just more of that. It's 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 almost like uh uh like just just just. Putting, you know, putting a, a, a new coat, <laughs> shine coat over the same old, I don't know. It was, I, I wouldn't, like, I want to see the potential of what this game could be. And, and I hope that it doesn't release broken, but it's a Bethesda game. You know, it's going to be broken. <laughs> you know, like mm-hmm. that's. That is a given already, an, you know. Yeah, that's that should be an expectation. And at this point, unfo- yeah. yeah, and unfortunately, you know, Microsoft Studios in general, there's not as careful about polishing the things that that come out of that. I mean, just it doesn't even matter if it's your 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 flagship game. Just look at the state that fucking Master Chief Collection came out when it when it got released originally. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm surprised and shocked that uh, Infinite came out in the state that it did. You know, 
um, which was not fucking broken. <laughs> uh, so, you know, they they don't they don't they don't do the the the, the polishing sheen uh, very the, well. Yeah, like for you know, like like most Sony games that come out. And that's not fanboyism. That's the fact. I mean, mm-hmm. just look at the games that come out from from Microsoft. Fucking Crackdown Three. <laughs> that's I, I made my case with just that game. With just that alone. word. Yeah. That game that they hyped up, cloud processing. Cloud processing. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. No. It and that's it was, it, it was literally a fart in the wind, bro. We, no one even speaks about that fucking game anymore. Oh, no if it, not no even one spoke this... about that game a month after the game came out. So that says it all. Why? Because it was, it was fucking Game Pass. It's like, yeah, well, yeah, it was a gotta, disaster. Yeah. It was, it was, it was freak, freaking disaster. And and this is the, that's another one of those super hype titles. Exactly. And that's my problem with the whole game pass thing where it's like well we we just need them to hold on to the subscription it doesn't have to be great it just needs to be good well it's easy fun it could be silly whatever it needs to be just to have them hold on to that well that would have been a problem if game pass was just exclusively the first party game but game pass is so much more than that that no, just it, having a shitty game like that's that, that doesn't affect in any way to me no uh, I, I see what you're saying but at some point you need to just, it's like the thing with Disney. You need to justify your service. And they are justifying did, the service, all the games. I, have you fucking seen it? No. <laughs> well, so I'm, I'm saying they have all those games, but right. chances are, like, for instance, I just got the PlayStation Plus thing. And mm-hmm. you know what I first realized? How many of the games that they offer, which are really good, I already own. I'm one of those right. who <laughs> don't mind buying that stuff. You know what I'm saying? But the reality is, for people like me, for instance, like, well, I it's a, there's a, probably a good 10 games that I've gone through the entire, 10, maybe 12 games. I can try to think um, that I'm like, ooh, these are the ones that I had on a wish list somewhere or, you know, whatever. It's like, oh, now I have it. Now actually it's mine. I could just fucking uh, play it at any point. Uh, but that's it. But I also buy a lot of games. So, yes, games, uh, Game Pass is great and it has a lot of games, whatever. But the selling point and the reason why people not just the game library it's the fact that all new games come to this so they mm-hmm. they buy in because of the new games that come to the service the the, the day one games that come to the service and they stay because of the library so yeah, i'll play some shit on library in the meantime till the next blank comes out you know what i mean um and yeah. and th- that's all good but honestly the best stuff so far um you know, like looking at some of the stuff that come out, like like Plague Tale, that's coming first of it. Like that's probably their best game, including some of their first parties. Like, and that's not even a first party. You know what I mean? It's they're they're paying so much out of that. I don't know, bro. I'm just trying to say is I feel like some of the quality takes a hit. And this is this is really what. And don't get me wrong, I'm not fucking agreeing with Jim Ryan because Jim Ryan's kind of a little bit of kind of a little bit of a dick, but. um when he says we're not bringing that first first party day one to the service is because we need those things to sell. That's that's our bread and butter. Those things sell because they're top of the line, whatever. You know, he won't say they'll eventually bring it because he doesn't want people to wait either. But chances are it'll eventually come to the service. You know what I mean? But, you know, the reality right. is he needs people to buy early and buy them and, and be on that first person who pre-orders it and, and waits till midnight so that he can jump onto it. And, and that's where Sony makes their money. Um, and that's actually where most game companies make their money. Microsoft, on the other hand, is printing money. So, it, you know, it's different. They have, they have a different outlook and they could do it. But I, I still stand by that they're, they're breaking even at best with the service pro. You know what I mean? And, but they can because, they can, again, they're printing money. <laughs> At some point, it, it, it doesn't fucking matter anymore. It's, I mean, but it, it, it what, what you say is literally they don't know how to run a business then. Because if you run a business to break even, then you're not doing it right. The well, no, I'm saying they're running their Microsoft overall is a big corporation that makes a lot of money. So if one thing is not making money, another thing can can make up for it. And yes, I think that I think you can agree that Microsoft has made some silly things every so often, where it's like, oh, that was a bad idea. Um, so it's not like they're, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not like they're perfect at, at, at their business or anything like that. No, all I'm saying is that. Quality takes a hit 
And right now, right now, what is the last first party Microsoft game that was in the echelon of quality that I'm going to say Sony, but I'm just thinking of any other thing, fucking Nintendo that has been in the echelon of the quality of Nintendo or Forza Horizon 5. Forza Horizon 5. And it's a racing game. Yeah. And, 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 And Halo Infinite? Yeah, Halo Infinite was a was a great fucking. You might not be into it, but Halo Infinite is a great fucking game. Microsoft Flight Simulator, also, it's another uh, it's another fantastic game. I know these are not games these that are, are games. Under, yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you mean. But yeah. there's st- there's still echelons on their particular department, you know, on their particular department. So y- y- you get you got to th- the the whole thing with the quality taking a hit. It, the quality is not taking a hit because Game Pass is offering the games out. It's not the the bullshit that that Jim uh, Ryder might want us to believe. The quality is it taking a hit when you literally don't fucking care and you release shit like uh, like Crackdown, like the fucking Pirates one. Although the Pirate one I hear is good now, but it doesn't matter because when it came out, like it that that you that shit, that, don't care, you know. The Sea of Thieves, yeah. So mostly mm-hmm. it's excellent now, and people are like, hey, but like yeah, when it first came yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's uh, typical of a service game, but yeah, yeah. And uh and 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 Game Pass has given me the opportunity to to get games that uh, the play to play games that otherwise I wouldn't think of 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 buying because I, I buy a lot of my games, even games that are on Game Pass. <laughs> Sometimes I buy them. Uh, yeah, but you and I but, sit in a different in a different you know, we, but we, I, we are in a privileged position that we can do these things. That's not the right, but normal what case. What, what I'm trying to say is that is that it offered me a lot of other games that, and this is just this is just PC Game Pass, which is not the real yeah, yeah. Game Pass. Yeah, <laughs> this yeah, is yeah, just yeah. PC <laughs> Game Pass, and it gives me games that like fucking Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on game on day one. Uh, uh, yeah, that's not first party, but yes, I see what you're saying. No, but yeah. again, right? I'm not talking about. Uh, I'm not talking about the the the, the third party. That if the that argument is third pay. part, if the if the argument is first party, for, you know, first party quality games, Sony wins that hands down. This doesn't even need to exist. Gamepad doesn't need to even exist, and I will argue that it wouldn't even existed, you know, if if Microsoft first parties were. We're on top. We're up on that. But but unfortunately, with a few exceptions, unfortunately, they don't have it. A lot of a lot of things that they release is just shit that could have that 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 could have come out from uh, from like a third party. No, nothing. And I'm sorry, but Crackdown Three was fucking shit. Uh, and um, and some other games are very underwhelming. So. What do they have to do? Well, they have to they have to shift a little bit. They have to go into like, well, this, this we can't make our game, so let's start acquiring companies that that you know that can that, that can games, yeah. you know or and, 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 and rather than or and let's try to be the Netflix of gaming, which at first it was losing you know the the, the Netflix was losing money. But then they revert that shit Netflix very is still quickly. Losing money for the record, but yes, <laughs> Netflix is still losing money for the record. Yes, they're still. They, they've lost a shitload of subscribers. No, but no, no, no. That's, yeah. Right, but no. Yes, but no. Netflix is losing money because they're also uh, they're 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 also uh, what do you call it? investing that into like new content and new shit and like they 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 don't just sit they don't just sit. Uh, on on the money just to just make a profit and and, and leave it like that. No, no, no. And in so any trying business, to become that, yeah, yeah. In any they're business, trying to become case, that. No, I I agree with you. And any business, in this case would 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 be doing the same thing. And and but they've been operating for a long time, at, at, you know, in the negative. And I think just recently, I don't remember when. Just recently, they didn't have to. Uh, I guess they just entered the black or something like that, but then they had yeah. this big hit in their subscriber base. <laughs> and so now they're back in the black yeah. uh, or back in the red, I should say. YouTube but, no, was I, the I same way. You YouTube was losing fucking money to Google. Like you wouldn't fucking believe. And yeah, that's now it. They're you play the long game. And that's, and that's what right. Microsoft is also playing. Uh, Cause and, they can, cause they, 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 they have the pockets can. to do they so. Oh yeah. Deep ass pockets to do it. Uh, yeah. But in the meantime, you know, it, 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 it 
there still remains this this output which I haven't seen, and and so that's what I'm hoping to see. Um, from yeah, no, it, there, say, there's no know. excuse. I mean, you have you mean to tell me they did that? Did you have fucking you know uh, all the studios that came with you know with Activision, all the studios that came with Bethesda, and all the studios that you acquired uh, on itself, and and you're not gonna bring st uh, stellar titles, then you done fucked up. At that point, you don't fuck that. You better hope yeah. that that the strategy with Game Pass gives you <laughs> gives you pays something because that yeah it pays off in the end because everybody's gonna be and this is not to say that Sony's fucking in, infallible either because oh no no now no. we're and, looking yeah, at a Sony that is turning back into like whatever the fuck is it you yeah. know oh I hundred percent agree and let's be real the you know they can. They just did the service, and you know, to their credit, they have quite the first party lineup into you know and and back and backlog that they can put into that service, which helps them because they've been around longer. Um, but they can't sustain that first that you know that that day one, and little by little, things can push them to eventually you know break and say, okay, well, we don't have a choice. Uh, and that can mm -hmm. that can lead to some devastating uh, results. But I guess we will. We'll we'll see we'll see what ends up coming over that. But uh, moving on to the next studio here, and that's of course, and, and these few studios uh, coming up don't really have any games announced, but they are part of uh, first party Xbox, and of course is Compulsion Games, which has only done two games in their history when they were uh, formed in two thousand nine. They were acquired by Microsoft in twenty eighteen, right around the time We Happy Few released. Um, the game before that was Contrast, which I did play and. I actually kind of did like, um, but we happy view wasn't the gem that they No, it was not. <laughs> uh, and we don't have anything since, uh, they are on a to be uh, confirmed status at this moment because we don't know what they're working on. Uh, and I'm <laughs> guessing they've already moved on from, from we happy few since that was, uh, I hope so. That the game was a train wreck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We'll see what comes next from then. Uh, double fine, uh, productions did have a game come out in 2021. Of course, that was psychonauts two very well received. Um, that again was 2021. We don't have any news from them. They were acquired by Microsoft in 2019. So psychonauts two was also multi-platform as well. So even though, they were acquired that still did come out too i did not know that i thought i, I thought psychonauts 2 was exclusive i didn't know that it was oh it says multi-platform here let me confirm the multi-platform status i mean psycho maybe the original one but i'm not sure if i mean i could be wrong i don't know it just it, it strikes me as odd because that yeah. would that that would have implied i mean nobody has talked about psychonauts 2 on playstation yeah available platforms playstation 4 or 5 pc xbox one xs oh, look at that yeah and that's deep in their acquired, you know. I mean, they probably had it already. They had a deal, but they're probably still, mm -hmm. yeah. That that that's that's. Still, they and who is to say that you know, with so many companies that they have acquired, you know, what if that's what what if that's that that's the game plan at the end? It's like, well, fuck it. As long as the game sells, because that's where we yeah. make money, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. We'll pull them at everywhere. <laughs> Uh, next team is, of course, id Software, uh, makers of Doom 2016. Well, every Doom. And Doom 20, every notable Doom. Doom 2016, of course, Doom Eternal, mm -hmm. acquired in 2020 with the purchase of Bethesda. And right now are on standby. We have no idea what they're making. I know they have had several updates to Doom Eternal, but nothing recent. Uh, I'm guessing Doom Infinite. Is there next one? <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, maybe so another Wolfenstein. Oh no, wait. They they kind of like no. They don't do them. Wolfenstein. That's uh that's Machine Games, which is my next one on my list. <laughs> but I was no, but yeah, but it's still it's technology. Like they can go. True. True. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Machine Games are not the 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 stewards of of Wolfenstein. Oh, they were I just definitely say them. they brought that back to to. I don't modern know. oh yeah, yeah i love fucking, uh, wolfenstein Absolutely. but it's still i need property the i would yeah but they're all the same company so <laughs> really it's a bethesda yeah. property at this point so right which right. is a microsoft property <laughs> yes well let's just say let's say well it's doom by microsoft 
<laughs> Doom and Remix. So, yeah. so nothing on them. Uh, the next one I have is In Exile Entertainment, of course. Tides of Numerian and the most recent Wasteland 3, which also yeah. is on uh, PlayStation. But right now, no news as to what they are uh, working on. Uh, wow. Like- Wasteland 3 is on PlayStation also? Yes, sir. That blows my mind. I think I think there's a subtopic here to to talk about. It's like Microsoft is just allowing it to go I, to to, yeah. to, to I mean, bring it back. To bring in 2018, the game came out in 2020, so that was two. I mean, it was already the chances oh are God. it was already in development, and you already had uh, agreements at that point, right? If you if you figure a three to four year uh, cycle. You know, yeah, then again, I just remember that game being like like marketed uh on, on Microsoft. Like I that's yeah. not a game. That's an excellent game, bro. That's a game that you should you, you should give it a, a world. I actually think I own part two. I wanna say I wanna say I think I own part two, sir. Um wait, oh. I mean wait, twenty eighteen is when this no no twenty twenty. I may own this, bro. I might actually own this game. Own that? Oh. I may actually own this fucking game. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I may actually own this fucking game. But anyway, regardless, or regardless, <laughs> I should say. <laughs> um, yeah, so in Exile um, is. I just freaking closed my damn window. Hold on. Sorry. That's great. Sorry. Dear Lord. What happened? I'm going to hear it talk about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles by the dot, dot emu. Dot emu? Dot emu? What? I like the time. Oh, is sense. that the the developer? Okay, uh, that's the publisher at least. I don't know. Hold on, sir, because I and I am so sorry. I completely shut out of that of that All right. article I was on. Okay, <laughs> we got it back up here. Let's scroll down the list. So it was in excess. <laughs> All right, next game. Oh, I mentioned Machine Games. It's a uh, Wolfenstein: New Order of what they've made. Wolfenstein mm-hmm. Two: New Colossus. They are currently yes. working on an Indiana Jones. I just realized that's right. Fuck, they're doing Indiana. Damn, Jones. they're doing indie. You're right. Then I guess it may go to Wolfenstein because that needs another fucking title. Yeah, um, was, no we're, we're getting an indie game is what you're saying huh are we sure are? i mean as an <laughs> indiana Get jones in fan, game. um i definitely can't agree but obviously this is going to be on xbox's camp only um this may be their attempt to answer uh you know the whole nathan drake thing another <laughs> uncharted yeah like, the, like yeah. fuck it we can't do anything let's just bring the original <laughs> It's the one who started it all. The real, uh, yeah. the real archaeologist. Yeah. <laughs> We're being archaeologists. I don't know. Unbelievable. Um, no date on that, but that is what they're working on. I'm a little bummed that it's that, but it is. What it is <laughs> That's right? okay. There have been other uh, 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 other uh, Indiana Jones games. I still want to call them indie games. Uh, they haven't been great. I'm um, sure. Yeah, I'm sure. Um. The next uh, studio is, of course, Mojang, um, which we know, big makers of Minecraft, and they are in the process of making Minecraft Legends. Um, Minecraft Legends. I think we both just, I think we literally both said last week, Godspeed, we don't care. So moving on. <laughs> um, Ninja Theory, owned, uh, acquired back in 2018. Damn, 2018. Fuck, okay. Um, Ninja Theory, of course, makers of DMC and Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice, currently working on Hellblade 2 and a title called Project Mara, both exclusive to Xbox. Um, I think this may be one of the rare studios, no pun intended, that uh-huh. will deliver, you know, quality stuff. Um, just seeing what Senua Sagas uh, look like and what they were trying to do with it. Um, uh, and after playing, you know, Senua Sacrifice, uh, when it came out back, back in 2017, I, I think this was a good get for them. We really haven't seen much. And I think they originally announced Hellblade a while back. We did see last year some more gameplay or what I think is gameplay because it could have been a fucking cutscene. It looks so damn good. Um, but I don't know. What are your, th- what are your thoughts on uh, Hellblade and, and Ninja Theory in general? Uh, well, I mean, you tell me because you're the one that played, that, that played you it. You need played to play some Senua's Sacrifice, bro. And start, I know. Start, you know, what the hell, man? Just I, listen out. Yes, yes. Uh, I did. Um, I did. I played a little bit of it, and I liked what I, you know, what what I was playing. 
Um, and this one looks like it's going more towards the action, a little bit more actiony side. Uh, it, it, I mean, it looks great if they can make the quality of well, at least the perceived quality that I got from the little bit that I played from the original. Mm-hmm. Then we might have something, but who knows? Because uh, is that what Senwa players want? I I don't know, bro. I I didn't feel like it needed a sequel, but you know, you know how sequel yeah, light that's is. That's another thing. Exactly, yeah. it's probably one of those games where it's like, well, why? why I feel are like we this is gonna be. It doesn't need to be. If I had to give an example as to what I think this is gonna be, I think this uh, Hen- uh, Hellblade Two mm-hmm. would be to Hellblade One what Prince of Persia 2 was to Prince of Persia 1. It was a sequel, technically, but felt so different from the original. Uh, and I think that's what's going to happen here. Now, that can yeah. be a good thing, right? It can expand on it and, and all this stuff, but it can also be jarring for someone who enjoyed Senyo Sacrifice, and you go, where are we going with this? <laughs> but uh, that's that's what, that's my you know two cents. It could be It could be great for all I know, but we don't know. Uh, yeah, next studio, Obsidian Entertainment. Of course, they're working on a bunch of shit. Primarily, mm-hmm. uh, they just 1.0 grounded. Uh, and of course, they're working on the Outer Worlds 2 and a title called Avowed, which I know many folks were uh, excited for. Sir, this is another good get from uh, for Microsoft. And I think that they're going to, first of all, Grounded obviously received a lot of uh, good praise. Obviously, it's still worked on and still released. And uh, everyone loved it. Out of Worlds 2, the trailer alone Mm -hmm. for that shit sold me. Yeah, the trailer (laughs) alone. That shit was so excellent. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) Uh, not much to know about the uh, Avowed, uh, which is a new RPG in the Pillars of Eternity universe. Uh, It's a lot of. I don't know. It's a lot of words there that I'm not. I mean, they did Pillars of Eternity before, so it's an R- it's a Western RPG. A Western RPG. You either are on board or you're already checked out. <laughs> so okay. I, I mean, I this Obsidian definitely some pedigree there. Yeah. Oh, for <laughs> so, sure, for sure. Yeah. I, um, I, I do want to see what that ends. Uh, I think that's going to be a good get, sir. I think Outer Worlds Two is going to be much better. Because it's going to be funded yeah. much better. Uh, I don't know about Avowed. I mean, I'm not. I didn't play Pills of Eternity, and but again, having the funding of Xbox, I think if it's anything like that, because I know Pills, I, I may not know Pills of Eternity, but I know mm. the following of Pills, of Pills of Eternity, and it's really good. And of course, Grounded will continue to make them uh, some money with the multiplayer uh, type of game that they're doing there. Yeah. Next is Playground Games who are notable for for Forza Horizon 4 and 5. But in a turn of events, they are making Fable 4 is what they're working on next. Sir, where are you with this craziness? Fable 4 is not happening. That game is getting canceled, bro. (laughs) (laughs) No one wants... Who asked for... I don't know, but that's what they're doing. This is... Michael needs to, and God damn it, I don't want to sound like a fucking fanboy, but Microsoft needs to let go of the legacy shit. Fable, the, the Fable t- uh, uh, um, name, it's already tarnished. And it was not like it was like Fable 3. Fable 3 was not great. You know, yeah. Fable, F- Fable what's a very in, a very interesting game uh, a, a very good game actually uh fable 2 was the unnecessary sequel and fable 3 was the cash grab and and a poor game and there's nothing here that gets me excited about a halo uh, halo, uh fable 4 like who at yeah. Who's asking for it? even you know, even the uh, uh chaos who's a big fable guy is like oh shit they're actually doing that that's insane but yeah, it does. It but it, it, it's they don't want they don't want to let go, and and that's the problem. That's why we see a lot of it's regard- an IP. You you you. I agree. But work on something else. Like this could have been like this doesn't have to have the fable. If if you want to do something that that 
that reminds you of it, you know, it, it, and make it something original, that's that'll be better than oh, just give me the fourth installment on a series that nobody have given a fuck since the first game. <laughs> I my only concern here is because if it's a team that is like really wants to do this then i say nurture that and if that's what they're doing then it's like guys you know it, it's like the team comes in they're working on forza they're working on forza they're working on forza, they're like, you know well, you know what i'd love to do you know this is something i have you know my whatever let's pitch it we pitch it and they go you really want to resurrect fable I'm like yeah yeah we, we can do it all right because it's coming from the heart. It's coming from somebody who probably loved Fable and says, we can do something better. We can make that something special. Mm-hmm. If it's something like that, then I think it's worth it. If it's Microsoft saying, hey, we need to take a break from Forza Horizon and we want you to work on Fable. Mm-hmm. Now we have a problem because that's what fucking EA did with freaking, uh, you know, uh, Freaking, Every... uh, what's the fuck of that uh not avengers jesus christ what is the name of that fucking game uh, oh my god the one from the dragon age guys bioware what's the, Bio- the, bioware. the stupid one uh, uh anthem. oh fucking anthem, anthem. Jeez. they were they was like hey you guys who specialize in freaking uh rpgs and everything else whatever what we need you to do is make a iron man type you know multiplayer <laughs> game you know it's like it's it's fitting a fucking square peg into a round hole you know what i mean it's like uh that's not what they do so if that's what they did you're right we're you know you're in for some really bad news with fable however if it came from the hearts and minds of the people in playground games saying you know we're kind of done doing this can we give it to somebody else? i really want to work on this and the team is behind here's what we're pitching here's the ideas here's some schematics here's you know they came in mm-hmm. with just like a bunch of information that just fucking won the hearts of the executives at microsoft so, okay fine <laughs> we'll let you do it you know that can be something That's absolutely how- special you know what i mean so who knows we'll we'll never know until it comes out and when we come it comes out we'll probably go mm, yeah <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should it's just not, let them do what they do. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, not sure if it needed to be made. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. We'll see. I I love pa- passion projects are a thing, and I I think that's a that's a an important thing to nurture in these type of environments, uh, mm-hmm. because people get sick of making the same shit or doing the same shit. You know what I mean? So th- these are creative minds, and when they're creative, they want to do something new and original. And if you nurture that you can get something special like a horizon for a zero dawn. For instance, these guys were making fucking kill zone left and right. Said we want to do this yeah. and, and look what you have. Now it doesn't always work, but you know, <laughs> and now they did horizon too, which was exactly the same. Was exactly the same thing. It's like, Oh, great. So, so now you're back into the kill zone mode. We're like, we're just going to repeat the same shit over and over. And over. <laughs> uh, anyway, the next team guys is rare uh, makers, of course, of sea of thieves currently working on, Everwild, uh, this is a British studio. Um, I know Sea of Thieves is doing great, and I'm glad for it. Um, I don't know much about it other than that. Uh, the only other title I think that was exclusive to to Microsoft that they made, which was Viva Piñata back in 2006. Maybe that was a port. Yeah, Piñata know. was great. Um, not sure about Everwild, sir. I haven't seen a lot of it other than words. So, Yes. Exactly. Same here, <laughs> uh, and that's yeah. I'm not sure if I'm interested. Yeah, exactly. Uh, next studio is Roundhouse Studios. This is a very unknown studio, um, which was created by Bethesda back in 2019, and of course acquired when they got acquired by Microsoft. With no idea what they're working on, other than uh, they have some experience with first person shooting and RPGs. So we'll see what that comes what comes from them, but. Next one, of course, is Tango Gameworks, makers of Evil Within and Evil Within 2, and most recently, Ghostwire Tokyo, which was uh, temporarily exclusive to uh, Sony, but will be coming in 2023 to Xbox. Um, Did you even care about Ghostwire Tokyo? No, sir. Yeah. I saw, and it just, it looked, mm, it looked beautiful, like, like gorgeous when it came to the graphics, but not a lot going on in there, you know? No, yeah, uh, my understanding is that it's it's a good game, but uh, it's you know it's it's not a it, it's not a must. It's not must a must. 
So, yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Uh, next is the coalition makers of Gears of War four or notable release of Gears of War four and Gears of War five. Right now, no actual game announced, but can we assume? Gears, Gears of, of War, War six? six? <laughs> yeah, obviously. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And, and I and I want to. I almost want to say that was announced also, but. I don't have the, uh, I don't have the thing, but. it says here to, to be confirmed. So maybe maybe it's leaked. Um that could be <laughs> uh, we do... surprising that has 343 working on a Halo game. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh we do know that they're heavily investing on Unreal Engine 5. So it will at least look very good. Yeah. Um the initiative is the next one. Uh nothing released. This is a completely new studio, but we know that they're working on Perfect Dark remake sequel. It's Question gotta mark? be a remake yeah. because um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would imagine it's a it, it's a remake. I will say this about the initiative: it is a studio that has talent from Bioware, Naughty Dog, Respawn, and a bunch of others. So potentially That's we cool. have something special there. Um, yeah. That said, due to the scope of the project, Crystal Dynamics has been brought in to help. So maybe there are some problems too. I don't know. Um, Damn, Crystal Dynamics. Yeah, yeah, you didn't hear Crystal Dynamics, uh, makers of uh, Tomb Raider, uh, were brought in uh, as to help with development. You didn't, you didn't hear about that? No, I didn't. Yeah. Know, I didn't even, I didn't even know. Yeah, yeah, they were brought in. Uh, this was probably about a year ago at this point that it was announced. Maybe less than a year, mm-hmm. somewhere in the last year. Sounds but it was like matter. weird. It's like really what the, that Square? Hello, it was Square team that came into. It was like okay, well, that makes yeah. sense. Uh, anyway, next one is uh, turn ten. Which we know is working on Forza Motorsport. Forza. Yes. Uh, not much to and say Forza there because they they are the Forza generator, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Undead Labs uh, currently working on. They did State of Decay two, released back in 2018, and I guess they're working on State of Decay three. Is that still <laughs> I mean, a thing? By the name alone, it feels like. Yeah, they don't. Uh, it's a lot of well. Anyway. Um, that's what they are working on at this. A point. lot of studios named for their particular one type of game that they did, and I'm not sure. Like, I, don't get me wrong. There, there are people that swear by State of Decay games. I'm, I'm 100 not going to be one of them. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah. So. Uh, all right, we're down to the last few. World's Edge, which is uh, not only responsible for Age of Empires. Four, um, that's a great game. That's a great game, but currently no title announced. So I guess we can assume th- they're just going to sit back and uh, grind on working on Age of Empires Five. Uh, and then, of course, from there we just have. I can only uh, hope because those games are fantastic. Yes, well, from my, from what I hear, I'm not. But I'm again, not. another studio dedicated to just the one type of game. Just that's okay. Of I'm all right with that. As someone who says. When I go to those restaurants and they have this menu that has four or five pages, I get mm-hmm. concerned because like, so you guys are the jack of all trades, but the <laughs> master of none is what I see here. And every time I have anything from them, I get proven right. Now, I go to a restaurant that has one page, five items, that's all they have, and any one of them are great. <laughs> you know what it's because they've mastered those five things you know what i mean <laughs> so that's why it's like mm, i'm okay when it's like hey age of empire you know it's this one released that's what back in 2021 what yeah. three probably released back in 20 what 18 17 you know it's like if you're gonna do this every five years do it you know what i mean take your time you're not analyzing it you know and give time right. for people to come back around so it makes perfect sense uh finally of course Zenimax online studios Elder, uh, Elder Scrolls Online, obviously, is what they're doing. And, of course, they are also the uh, main guys behind Fallout 76, working on nothing at the moment because they just need to keep those two things going. So, yeah, so those uh, are the things that they're working. <laughs> there, so yeah, yeah. Those are things where so, so, overall, I think a strong lineup, uh, of, you know, excluding the ones that we don't know where they're working on. But that means they're working on something, which is always a good thing. So That feels, however, uh, more of a... Quantity over quality, you know. Oh, you think, oh, There's certainly so. some some good tiles. Don't get me wrong, but I, I feel like it's yeah, that's a good lineup. But it's because it's a sheer number of studios. Like one of the things that that was always leveraged against Microsoft was like, well, you don't have the studios. Well, now yeah, that they do. 
Yeah. Now that they have half of the gaming industry. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> exactly. And still pocket. looking for more, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, it's still looking for more. Exactly. It's like, well, they, nobody can say that we don't have games anymore. And it's like, yeah. well, that's awesome. Now, can you make some quality ones? And I will appreciate that. <laughs> exactly. Thank you. We'd all appreciate if you just fix your shit. Yes. Uh, <laughs> all right. We're going to go into Sony's camp. Now, we don't know, have a lot of information. Sony's camp has been fairly quiet. Um, but we're just going to kind of... You're still like that. Yeah. Well, now they are. They used to announce shit early, and then you don't hear anything about it, you know, for a while. But oh, oh Microsoft. Then. <laughs> First one, of course, is Polyphony Digital. But we know what they've done. They just released Gran Turismo Seven to an abysmal, uh, oh, oh, oh. you know, of uh, reviews or or whatever. Thanks to their micro, not micro, oh. say Microsoft micro transactions. Sorry, <laughs> thanks to their micro transactions. Yeah, that, micro transactions uh, without Microsoft. <laughs> <laughs> They yeah. were the ones that invented that shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, okay. For the um, Xbox Live. <laughs> yeah. So clearly, they're going to be most likely supporting this game post-launch for the foreseeable future. And when they decide to make another one, Grand Theft Auto 8, it'll probably be 10 years from now. So um, that's what Polyphony Digital is doing. Sir, Grand Theft Auto 7, have you returned? Re-returned? Oh, I have. I, and and that, that's that was actually that's one, of one of the games okay. that I didn't care to mention that I was playing mm -hmm. <laughs> because it was more, uh, you know, Gran Turismo. But uh, th that that game's the economy of that game is what they fuck up. The game itself, it, it's it's still one of the best racing games of, of the, you know, of the generation. And uh, I mean, you. Look at Dark. He has been playing the game. Yeah, yes. my understanding, he hasn't spent a dime on it. Nope. And just he time. Has just the time. And he has, you know, a, a shit like a enviable collection of, 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 of cars and and uh, enviable amount of contact of time that he has put. So, so the the. Feels like yes, in a way, the micro the, the micro sections uh, ruin ruin the game in the sense of uh, progression of, of progression. Yeah, but it it did not break it. It did not. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Okay. It's like okay. the game is it's still it's still playable if you're willing to accept the fact that hey, you're not gonna get the full experience because the full experience is behind so like ridiculous monetization that almost but not quite the rivals activision yeah um talk about going it, talk about going for the wrong crown i'm just saying <laughs> and it and it is so and it, and it's so unlike unlikely from them because that has never been sony's thing the, the ridiculous monetization has never it been has not until and now you would you would under this. yeah under jim right yeah yeah you, you finish that sentence yeah it's like uh, <laughs> yeah this is so unlike anything they've done and it is blatant yes blatant. It is so i mean it's not like i mean it, they, you know they addressed it at some point and they fixed it and then they went back again it's like okay so now sony's involved yeah. <laughs> sony is like all in on this because you know if they slap like it's one of those things like all right we let polyphony digital do something they had an idea we trusted them. They delivered, and it was met with a backlash. And uh, we slapped them in the hand, and they addressed addressed it. And then they went back again. It's like, wait, well, so now they either are fucking going rogue on you, or you are okay <laughs> with this. You know what I mean? So yeah, now it's yeah, yeah, yeah now, exactly. it's, now it's you, and and you're trying to make it so that uh, I don't know, like people don't you, you think people don't remember that shit, or they oh, don't love they will. They fucking will. The sad part is that people are paying for it. This is the sad part. Yeah. Again, yeah. you speak with your you speak with your money. If people buy it, you, if you begrudgingly buy it, you you might as well just say yes. Say you yeah, might as exactly. well just turn over. You're part, over you're, yeah. you're part of that yeah. problem. Exactly. It's, it's on. It's on you. Exactly. It's yeah. like no, that's not how that works. Speak with it's your like, wallet. Yeah. It's like if we get the 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 NFT economy, uh, oh. you know, the, the games. Yeah. Like we should be educating people to avoid those, to not, mm -hmm. you know, not to. Oh, I and I will, 
and I will trust. I will. <laughs> um, next team is Team Asobi, which actually is <laughs> the remnants of Japan Studio. Um, after they got, oh. yeah, if you remember, Japan Studio actually got, I don't know, axed, changed, forced out. I'm not sure, but <laughs> anyway, um, they have been the ones responsible for the playroom, Astro's playroom. Uh, they recently did the yeah Astro's Playroom, the one that, the game that came with the uh, PlayStation Five, uh, and right yeah. now they are staffing up for a quote three D action game, which is most certainly, um, you know, probably another follow up to Astro's Playroom, which for the record was really good. Oh, it was man. very obviously PlayStation centric, but I feel like if you can build upon that, because I feel that that was an actually really awesome and well done three D action platformer. Yeah. You got yourself. You get yourself a winner. Another, uh, you know, um, own it. Like, dude, yeah, like that's do that's it. the opportunity. Just do the, like, do the, do 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 that. You have a potential of a new IP that is awesome and yeah. that gets uh, people like. And I played it about. to the end, bro. I don't know you did, but I enjoyed the shit. I was like, Man, yeah, I played it to a lot end. of fucking fun. Yeah. yeah, that was well well designed. Uh, they yeah. keep that up. I think they can, you know, get a story going. You know what I mean? Get an actual story going, and why not? It, it can yeah. it can spin off from there. Uh, the next scene is Fire Sprite. Uh, Fire Sprite is big on the, of course, uh, VR uh, for for Sony. Uh, established back in 2013, they are currently working on Horizon Call of the Mountain, which is a PSVR two game. Uh, I'm not big mm. into VR, but I'm glad that they are not walking away the way they walked away from Vita. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah, it's. Hey, I, I was, I was one of the people, and I must say, I still am. I think uh, VR is dead. Uh, obviously, with You're the right. whole thing with Meta <laughs> being yeah. a thing, yeah, uh, that might, you know, I, I might change my tune on that. So, you uh, know, at some point, and Dude, I saw my. You're right. I'm glad that they haven't given up on it, and yeah. that, yeah. It is still the something. technology is there now and it's getting cheaper now with fucking right. the meta or the meta quest, you know, at two ninety nine, dude, I saw my dad playing this shit. My dad <laughs> was fucking playing VR. We have a fucking video of him playing it and laughing la- hilariously because he's dodging something okay. we can't see. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, and so, yeah, man, it's out there now. Price point for BS VR two is going to be key. So we'll see what, so we'll see what they do with that. I wonder if they'll yeah. have something later on, but we'll see. Uh, next studio is Guerrilla Games, of course. Not much to say on this because they just re- recently released uh, Horizon Forbidden West for PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. Um, not much other than some speculation about a multiplayer shooter, but hey, they used to do that all the time. So what's new about that? Uh, bring nope, up, no oh. so called, no, bring up, uh, what's it called? Um, so called? No, not so calm. Kills the, other, the other, well, I was thinking of kills of first, but that would have been too obvious. No, the one that was a hundred players and uh, and players. eventually, no. eventually they 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 kind of stopped supporting that game. What was oh, that? Oh, it was more than a hundred, wasn't it? Um, yeah, it was like two hundred fifty. It was two hundred fifty six or some weird ass yeah, fucking somewhere. number. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I remember that. Game. I don't remember the uh, fucking game, but yeah, I remember that. Let me see. 256, 256, multi play. Yeah, it's like shooter or shit. Mm. I'm getting uh, I'm getting Pac Man 256, which is not what I want. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was uh, Pac Man. Over 200. How about that? Over 200 multiplayer. Multiplayer. Yeah, it was. Was that man? Yeah, it's not coming up. Oh well, who cares? Moving on to the next yeah, studio. It was, you can not, it was not yet. Uh, next studio, of course, is Housemark, recently uh, acquired in 2021. Uh, makers, of course, of Returnal, which is one excellent game. Uh, at the moment, there is no word. Uh, they're still supporting Returnal. They just recently released a cooperative ver- uh, mode to it, which, uh, sir, we, you, and I still need to go play at some point do not argue with me and moving on to the next studio uh <laughs> <laughs> like london it. studio uh london studio of course uh familiar uh 
well, people know them for SingStar, iPad, uh, a VR title called Blood and Truth. Uh, their next game is unknown at the moment. PlayStation 5 online game. So this will be one of the 10 live services games that uh, Sony is trying to do by 2025. But what it is exactly, we don't know. We'll see. Media Molecule. What is Million Malik? What the hell have they been doing after Dreams? <laughs> it took like <laughs> Dreams? Uh, they don't have to. to That's do. the thing. That's their dream. They don't have to make games because now we make them for them. Ridiculous. They are still making. So the most recent thing they did was making like an additional single player thing called Ancient Dangers, a bat's tail, which is within Dream. Dreams. So it's like, oh, they're just. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They're just adding content, to, which I guess is not bad. But. I play dreams and I'm not even sure I can say I play dreams. I just accessed oh, yeah. dreams uh, and I'm not sure. access the dream platform. Yeah. Games entertainment system. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, next studio is Nixus software. Of course, this is the studio largely responsible for the ports of PC uh, ports to PC. Uh, so no specific game by themselves, but, they are working. I hate, working. I hate on Green Jean Ryan, but that's the only thing I'm actually thankful for. <laughs> 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 the place in your games on PC. Because they have been, they've actually been good ports. That's, 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 that's other things. Like, yeah. well, if 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 we could get good ports of those games, then fuck yeah. That's the amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um uh, I, I can't. I can't disagree with that. I can really can't disagree with that. I mean, it, it, to to have it everywhere, those titles is it gold. deserves to be. Yeah, it, uh, I agree. I, I think, agree. You know, I'm not saying put them on on on, on next because I'm not a fucking idiot. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's the dream, but obviously, yeah, yeah, that there has never, to be lines. Right? That would never yeah, be the yeah, case. Yeah. yeah. But although I, although I would still say, people. go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I'm saying that, 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 you put them PC and suddenly. Uh, you know, you you have a yeah. It's like neutral territory. Like that doesn't count. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, plus yeah. uh, from a uh, what what do you call it? Uh, preservation standpoint. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hmm. Next one here is XDev. XDev is not your normal studio. Uh, XDev works with external developers uh, and to publish oh, to I do get a PlayStation project. Yes external Ignite developers X. yes yeah Ev, uh X. some examples will of course include working with supermassive games to bring us until dawn and the most recent one will be working with quantic dream to bring detroit become human uh right now if they're working on something they haven't announced it because we have no idea what they're doing so <laughs> i forgot detroit is on bc yes oh, it is and i gave fire. you that game sir so even even then you don't have to fucking yeah. buy it. i'm just saying just throwing it out there, right there right i think i think I, yeah yeah <laughs> oh i was yeah, gonna say I think, right. I, I think i have it on steam because i have some fucking things on steam so <laughs> i don't even know what i buy anymore <laughs> Uh, Studio Bend. Is... Sorry, oh. sorry, sorry. No joke. I was to say, no joke. I was literally uh, when we were on the break. I I was eyeing a copy of Street Fighter Five Championship Edition for eleven dollars. I'm like, huh, eleven dollars? How you say, huh? <laughs> well done, sir. No. Uh, Studio Ben or Ben Studio, uh, of course, from uh, Ben, Oregon. Infamous for creating Bubsy 3D. You remember that beautiful game. Uh, the Siphon Filter series, and most recently, of course, Days Gone. Uh, all that's known right now is that Ben is making a new open world game. It is not a, ga- a Days Gone sequel. That's all we know. Uh, if, we'll- if if Ben Studio was a Microsoft uh, t- uh, studio, they would have been working on the Ford version of what was the game that you said they was gone <laughs> no not even the first one that you mentioned oh siphon filter oh bubsy 3d filter. <laughs> siphon filter oh yeah that would have had like like four or five bubsy 3ds yeah, yeah. Bubsy, yes we, bubsy Phil Spencer will be wearing a bubsy 3d shirt oh my god <laughs> the, the no next one E3. wants that <laughs> uh next game uh studio is blue point games one of the studios that i find fascinating because they don't 
work on their own things, but they are currently working on a whole new IP. Uh, so we do know that it's an original game, but they are responsible, of course, for the uh, Uncharted Nathan Drake collection, Shadow of Colossus remake, and the amazing looking Demon Souls remake. Um, curious to see what they bring to the studio, to this, yeah, well, to the studio um, when it comes to their own thing. It's one of those things like, I don't want them to freaking uh, Zack Snyder this shit. Like Zack Snyder is an amazing person who can take in a property and bring it to the screen and just go, here you go. But when he has to create it from himself, it's garbage. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, you know, it's like, oh. So hopefully they don't do that. Anyway, moving on, we have, I want to finish this up because we have, we're, we're, oh my God, we're running late. Uh, Haven Studios. A uh, brand new studio, no game ever made, uh, but it is led by Jade Raymond, who is famed for her work on Assassin's Creed and the Watch Dogs series. So we kind of know oh, what that's coming to. Yeah. Oh, so many. Like, I feel like she is be, or headed or, or, or being part of so many studios that have produced absolutely nothing yet. Yeah. <laughs> since, yeah. Since when you fucking, look at the time frame, you're right. It's like since, she's uh, there for a moment. Uh, and then leaves, you know what I mean? And it's yeah. like, well, I guess you can tie her name to it, but what really yeah. did she do? <laughs> it, yeah. I, sorry, but it's kind of an overrated uh, a per- person, person. In, in the gaming yeah. industry because yeah. it's, yeah, Assassin's Creed was, a, you know, was like a revelation when it came out back in 2007. And yeah. then what else have you really done? Not you know? a much. Not a much at all. Get involved in a lot of companies and not produce anything for anyone. It's like- exactly. Exactly. Uh, we, what they, we do know is Haven's working on one of those live service multiplayer games. That oh, Sony okay. Is, yeah. so, so that's, that's great. Do know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, and, and I still say 10 live service games is what was promised by Sony. And I swear to now, it's really just throwing a bunch of shit at the wall. And hopefully one of these or two of these <laughs> or even better, three of these will stick. So, uh, Insomniac Games powerhouse Ooh. now. Well, we're we're in the powerhouse, uh, famed of course for the Ratchet and Clank series, the Resident, uh, Resident, the uh, Resistance series. Was, thank you very much. Thank you, uh, uh, Marvel Spider Man, Spider Man, of course, Miles Morales. Uh, we know what they're working on, of course. That is Marvel Spider Man Two, highly anticipated by this guy right here, and yes. Marvel's Wolverine. Now, I gotta say kind of like it still a little bummed <laughs> that Why? they are doing a bunch of you know licensed shit and would love to see but something it, i mean if they've they they've done a pretty good job with oh they've done an excellent job excellent job yeah, i mean it's like so, yeah yeah but at the same time that's it's like, what you're saying yeah it could be something original from them it could be special yeah yeah spider-man know. 2 they've proven themselves with their with what they've done so they I'm have. Okay with that. So I have I like no doubts that we're going to get top of the line shit from them. I mean, this was a steal at $250 million for buying Insomniac. Seriously. Oh, yeah. A they steal. Yeah. They literally robbed. Yes. <laughs> they, literally, they literally kidnapped that studio. <laughs> I think I, I, I think I did. I mean, that studio is so already so in bed with Sony, like where, where else was it, what, what they, where they're going to go? Because their experience with, uh, with, you know, with the one game that they created for, for Microsoft, like it didn't do very well. Yeah. Remember? It did not because I, you know what? I'm not going to say it. Cause I'm going to, it was a good game. It was a good game. I'm not saying it was a good game. I just feel like it was a game by a team that delivers a specific type of game on a console that expects not that kind of game. They want a specific kind of game, and it's going to be your Gears and your Halo and your Forza. Outside of those, not interested. That's that's my that's my take. I hate to say it, but the numbers speak it because that fucking game didn't sell, and yeah. but everyone who played it praised the fuck out of it. Well, what does that mean? Yeah. That means it was locked on a console that it didn't need to be on. Yeah. Right. This, it's not that it, it it's not the yeah yeah I, I I think you're right on that because uh that was certainly not the the type of games that that, that were being yeah on that yeah on that 
tons exactly. of fun for that time. Now it's now that now yeah exactly now it would be um, yeah. at least a, a, a more, but at the time it wasn't. At the time, you know, they just knew Xbox knew what they were, and they tried to you know because they even did uh, several JRPGs, you know, yeah. or maybe. Not several, maybe one or two JRPGs. I'm trying to think of. Oh, one. they they had they, they they had quite a few actually. That were uh, that were yeah, they were uh, uh, exclusive. You know, what I'm but it didn't they didn't sell. They didn't move. Japan didn't even care. You know, it's just yeah, like Japan didn't give it's like uh, oh my god, if Japan doesn't care about your JRPG, they hold it. You even fucked yeah. up. Yeah, that's, that's something wrong. Um, and it's a shame. It could just be because they're an American company. It could be a lot of other things. Uh, but I understand that those games were pretty good. Anyway, moving on. Naughty Dog. We just heard, of course, Last Why of Us they? Part. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it, really? it sounds like a fucking indie, the unproven <laughs> indie, <laughs> experiment, not even like a Sony is experimenting now with these people. <laughs> yes. Well, we know that they're doing a multiplayer within the Last of Us universe. Uh, it has not been named, but I know the original name, uh, the, the one that came with the first Last of Us was called Factions. That's what we've kind of been calling it. Uh, the remake of the original Last of Us, to, uh, Last of Us, excuse me. I still have issues even caring about that. I, I hope if you haven't played Last of Us, then yes, get it. Get it now. <laughs> but if you played if it you... like I have, I've played the first Last of Us to completion more than four times. I don't wow. need to do it again. I don't uh-huh. need to do it again. Sorry, I don't. I'm a, I'm gonna have to do it on the PC version, but that's you only do that, sir. You do that. Uh-huh. You do that. And and oh, by the way, Lefty Behind comes with it, so maybe you finally do that as well. <laughs> so, um, next one, Pixel Opus, game makers of Entwined, which I played, it was okay, and Concrete Genie, which I played and didn't finish because I didn't like it. Um, right now. It's currently working on a PlayStation 5 game, but that's all we know. It is in collaboration with Sony Pictures Animation and rumored to be a Sly Cooper game. So we'll see. Okay. We'll Thoughts see. on that? Did you like Sly Cooper at all? <laughs> Did I even Not play even the Sly Cooper? You never played ever? them? Oh, oh, dude. Those are not my type of games, bro. <laughs> okay. No? 3D platformers? Because 3D you played platform- Mario. Well, Mario is the 3D platformer. <laughs> wow. All right. Yeah, I'm not a fan, I'm not a fan of judgmental. them. If I'm going to play one, I'm going to play the best one. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, San Diego Studio, we don't have to really stick on. Uh, obviously, they're famous for the MLB, the show series. They will continue to do so, and they will also port it to Xbox because that is a thing. Uh, and, oh, by the way, also Nintendo, so it's just basically gonna be everywhere. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah. At this point, I'll well, wait for Game weird. Pass. What you saying? Uh, yes, do that or PlayStation <laughs> Plus. Uh, Santa Monica Studio. Of course, we know that they're working on a God of War uh, Ragnarok, and it is set to release this year. There was rumors that it was going to be delayed, and here we are. And and then there was some talk of no, that's not true, and we still haven't seen anything of it, sir. Are we ever going to fucking see? Is this coming out this year? That's all I want to know. Is it coming? God out of War. Right. For it to be, for it to come this year, it will have to be the. Tra- we will have to see the trailer next week. Wow, next week! Damn, bro. <laughs> That's the only Talk way about a line in the sand. Like if it's not here, make, if it's not, then it's not happening, and wow. I'm gonna have to like remove it from my <laughs> lineup. I have it picked for this year, and if it doesn't come out this year, it's going to hurt in our fantasy uh, video game league. But we'll see. <laughs> um, Valkyrie Studio is really a support studio. Uh, which currently is is helping Santa Monica Studio bring uh, God of War, God of War Ragnarok. Uh, so it's just a studio that does that. And then finally, Sucker Punch Studio. We know makers, of course, Sly Cooper, the original, infamous back in the day, and most recently, Ghost of Tsushima. Studio has been has just about wrapped on a post launch. Uh, for Ghost of Tsushima and multiplayer uh, spinoffs. So it looks like we'll have some more content for that. Future projects are unknown, but I think it's pretty obvious Ghost of Tsushima 2 will be a thing. Sir? Oh, no. Oh, it's going to be a thing. Ghost of Tsushima, 
ghost of someplace else. It's gonna maybe. be. Uh, I mean, sure, yes, it'll be ghost of I don't know, Okinawa. Yes. There you go. <laughs> but, hey, yeah. it, 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 it could very well be. Yes, it may be. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, You're right. Yeah. Obviously, it can't, this, it can't be the same war. You're right. You're right. They yeah, already yeah. liberated Tsushima, yeah. and uh, and that game is great. Don't get me wrong. I have nothing against it. I'm just saying. You know, it will have to be in another place. Be smart, right? Be smart about your sequel. Don't, don't, yeah. Unless they, unless, unless it's another thing within the war somewhere else, and it's like, okay, really, no. we know, we know who liberated this area because I did it myself. Uh, yeah. So anyway, Dusty, all the studios, sir. Real quick before we wrap up, I need to ask. Mm-hmm. What's the strength of these? I mean, no offense to Nintendo, I feel like they are just there. <laughs> doing their own thing do you godspeed but of course <laughs> of the t- uh, the major two playstation and xbox lineups uh coming up who do you think has the uh advantage if any it may not even be an advantage uh as far as as far as the quality of games that i'm looking to play it's still i mean it's still gonna be sony no doubt because they with I I feel like I I I'm I'm more um, confident that I could get the quality games that I do want to play, even if it's a even if it's a lesser amount of games. I'm more confident that I can get the quality of games from them uh, than than the titles that that I could get from from Microsoft. A lot of the titles that I could get that that we're gonna get, you know, from from Microsoft, they don't even feel like, even though they're first party, but they don't even feel like first party. You know what I mean? It's like <laughs> this: uh, you get, you get, uh, and that's and that's the thing with buying these studios, but not having a clear plan on on on, on what to do. And maybe it's too early for that. And maybe there was a lot of uh, comp- a lot of uh, contracts that were laid there already um but i feel like when a lot of your titles you don't know how to answer well you know we you know this might be exclusive this might not at this day and age then you can't really count them as first party you know yeah. uh if it just say what it is your strategy is to uh sure. say get the shit out of it just yeah. <laughs> make the games and uh the Xbox is kind of like a, a one of the many ex- delivery accessories, and Systems, yep. yeah, and 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 it is what it is. Um, also, I don't know, man. The, the 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 titles that they have announced, there's a lot. I I, I want to acknowledge it. There is a lot of you know a lot of titles, but it feels like it's because. There is a lot of studios, you know, I, not necessarily yeah. because they're delivering the 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 quality. It's more a quantity over quality situation. I I will sit there. on the other side. Sir. I'm, I'm going to do contrarian here and say I'm going to go with the stronger lineup at the moment is Xbox, uh, and I will say why. Right now, Polyphony Digital obviously has delivered what they had to deliver, and it's doing its thing. Outside of that, we know God of War is coming. We don't know when. Uh, a lot of studios are, who knows what they're doing. London Studio, Media Molecules, just fucking sitting there twiddling their thumbs. Uh, you know, yeah, Blue Point is... early Blue, development or something. Sure, but Blue Point, yeah, but we don't know what they're doing. Uh, Blue Point Games is another one where it's like, okay, we know you can do stuff when it's already made. Can you do something original, unproven? Haven? fucking jade raymond no fucking clue right oh, the one the two studios that we know are going to the deli- or three uh i guess in this case santa monica studio which we know is doing uh god of war nothing else mm-hmm. um fucking naughty dog which wasted god knows how much time to do a remake of last of us one which is not even 10 years old and mm-hmm. so they're wasting their time as well. and then insomniac which we know insomniac delivers quality and we know they're going to do that that's the one star like the one light at the end of the tunnel where it's like oh insomniac mm-hmm. spider-man 2 can't wait wolverine can't wait yeah 
what else am I waiting for? I, we know God of War is coming. So it's, it's, it's that's not, you know, that's not a, a whatever. So you have those three. Xbox, on the other hand, yes, I know there are some question marks. I'm not denying that there's question marks because there definitely are. Um, and this is for somebody who's not even in that camp. But I look at machine games and I'm just like, God, I love what Machine Games does and can't wait to see what they're going to do with fucking Indiana Jones. And I love Indiana Jones, too, by the record. I own all the fucking movies. So, okay, you know, they have it. Who knows what it's doing? We don't have anything there, but you know they're fucking doing another Doom. Uh, mm-hmm. Fucking uh, uh, Ninja Theory. Again, question mark, right? Because I said it could be the Prince of Persia 2 to the Prince of Persia 1, which mm-hmm. wouldn't be a good thing, but it Maybe it is if it's done right. You know what I mean? And it is Ninja Theory, you know, who has done. Yeah, they have, they have the pedigree. I was going to say they have the pedigree. You love DMC. I never played any of uh, yes. those except for the first one. But you love DMC. They did that. Uh, and then, of course, Obsidian, bro. The Outer Worlds 2. I love the Outer Worlds. Outer Worlds 2. Avowed. Well, I don't know much of Avowed, but I know it's it's something uh, special. Um, not something I'm into, but something special. I feel like there's they get edged out. And then finally, of course, you got Perfect Dark. I actually played all the Perfect Darks. And yes, even the really? one even Xbox. Yeah, I was going to say, even the one there. <laughs> so was, I didn't own it, obviously, but I played it because I enjoyed it. I was like, it's not great. I know it's not great, but I enjoyed it for what it was because I remember the first Perfect Dark. So I have that attachment to it. I'm just like, damn, man, fucking Perfect <laughs> Dark. That'd be so cool to have to go back to that. Uh, and it looks like it may be in some trouble, but maybe it's not, right? Because Crystal mm-hmm. Dynamics stepped in, and and maybe that usually helps out. I think the stronger lineup mm-hmm. at the moment is certainly Xbox. Uh, it's not great. I'm not saying they're fucking, you know, pumping, you know, everything and and firing all cylinders, but at the moment, because we don't really know what else is happening with Sony and a lot of their studios, it's nothing but question marks. Um, I think that they have the stronger stronger lineup, at least with, within what we know of in the next uh, 12 to 18 months. So. Yeah, the problem is, like the, the, like you mentioned a lot, uh, a lot of really good games, and then you mentioned uh, Sony only have, you know, uh, uh, Insomniac. <laughs> yeah, Insomniac, yeah. yeah. and, which is excellent. I know, I know, I know. And I'm I'm more excited about the one or two Insomniac games that the rest of the lineup of Microsoft can. And I know that's unfair to say because there are some other games, of course, but realistically, I'm just saying, if you, I mean, if you were to measure dude. my my excitement level right now, I'll have to say, you know, I like. I, you know, I, I I like what I'm what I'm seeing from Sony because again, I can feel more confident that whatever they're working on, even if I don't know right now, it's it's it, it's gonna be it's gonna be quant- quality uh, for the most part. Even if that quality means that it's not the game for me, like Dreams was never the game for me, and I had no qualms about the fact that that game was never gonna be for me or any of the VR <laughs> of the VR shit. So. You should have tagged it because Dreams came on PlayStation. You should have tagged it just so you can see what's about. It's not bad. It's just, I don't know if it's gaming. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like some point I'm like, it's, I'm it's not even sure what this is, but it's definitely original. And you know me, I like me some strange. I mean, that's some some crazy thing that they've been done, like different type of games. That they've yeah. Been done. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dead Space. They did Dead Space. That's, yeah, they did Dead Space. That's true. Stuff. All right, guys. Well, that brings us to the closing of another awesome episode the real episode 320 thank you so much for tuning in uh if it you haven't already please go to goodgame.rocks join the conversation there and of course please like subscribe and share the podcast with everyone this is mad dog saving saving excuse me let me say that this is mad dog signing off for this week saying (laughs) i feel the need the need Four speed. <laughs> you getting that? Uh, <laughs> the second time in a row. I know oh. because it's. Just, I mean, they didn't say it in the movie, but spoilers. <laughs> they didn't say it in the movie, but they should have at some point. They should have. <laughs> yeah, they should have. I mean, at that point. Anyway, Mister <laughs> Dreamy Twister, take us home. Uh, I just uh, want to say that it is a crime. Hey. 
that the most exciting thing that could have the Sony could have done is not being done. Sony, is- hear me out. Oh, bring up PlayStation Home back! Oh, oh yes, <laughs> play with my homies. Oh, <laughs> you laugh. <laughs> But I spent money in PlayStation Home. So I had the back cave and I also had an apartment in Rapture. Yes. I had an in apartment Rapture. in Rapture. Yes. yes. So you you laugh, but man, did I enjoy my time with that fucking crazy. It was an thing. amazing idea behind yeah. home. I don't know why it got. I guarantee you. So I know we're going off topic here and we should be wrapping up, but and I cannot stand the concept at all of, of NFTs. No. <laughs> but let me tell you, if you want to get that shit going, a vibrant <laughs> home is the way to go. Is the way to go. It's the way to go. It's like, <laughs> hey, only a certain amount of you are going to be able to own this. You want it? Come in. You can do a <laughs> virtual auction. Oh, my God. Listen, all I'm saying is that. Tony, I'm telling you. you there was a time where you could create your avatar on console games and that doesn't ha- on console uh, systems and that doesn't happen anymore. And uh, we need to bring that. Unless shit. you're in Nintendo camp, but yeah. yeah uh, Nintendo. <laughs> Nintendo <laughs> still has their Mii's. Aww. Aww, Aww, that cute, adorable, adorable stuff. Yeah. Mm. And they're Amiibos. <laughs> well, Nintendo's so fucking odd, but I love them. Anyway. <laughs> We'll see you next week, guys. Bridget!